We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best, breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game-changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92. The best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. 
Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fun we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydot Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We, we are, are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is education evolved. This is UA92.
with the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at UN92. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players, Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at UN92. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fun. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolve. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Last night? You got here last night? Oh, you stayed over there. Yeah, I just saw this in the Dales and went, ah, Thank you. 
Good morning and a warm welcome from Sebba School for the uh, warm-up fixture between Lancashire and uh, Cumbria ahead of the Royal London One Day Cup competition starting. It is absolutely beautiful, isn't it, when we come to, to Sebba School. Fingers crossed we're going to have some cricket today. We certainly have a delay um, due to rain last night and first thing this morning, but the forecast for the afternoon is much better. And, of course, we're back here on Tuesday for the first game of the Royal London One Day Cup um, against Essex. I've got a couple of Lancashire players with me. I've got Lancashire's One Day captain, Keaton Jennings. What is that? How are you? I'm okay. good, good, mate. How are you? Good, thank you. Congratulations. Well. Captaincy for the competition. How much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, definitely. It'll be, be really good fun. Um, yeah, hopefully lads go well. Um, just play some good cricket. Um, yeah, we've got a nice, nice month ahead. Bit of travelling um, and obviously starting off in a really good location here. So, yeah, it'll be, be exciting. In terms of, of the competition, Keaton, obviously it runs alongside the 100. Mm. Um, Last year, it gave certainly some opportunities for players that perhaps wouldn't normally feature. How do you look at this this month of the competition coming up? Uh, a, a huge opportunity to try and win, uh, try and win a trophy. Um, we got what 15 guys in the chain room that are really excited to compete. Um, and personally, I think we've got a really good chance. We've got some really sort of strong players um, and some guys that are sort of coming through and wanting to, I suppose, make a, make a bit of a statement in their career. So look, it's an exciting month um, and a huge opportunity for us to try and win a trophy. Good competition last year for like so ju just missing out in what was a pretty dramatic game, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I remember yeah, being on comms with you at the time. You so, were, yeah. yeah, look, I mean, hopefully we can go one go, uh, one better, get into the knockout stage, and then kind of anyone's game from there. So, yeah, look, an exciting month ahead, um, and like I say, starting off at a really good venue. And for you, captain, how much are you looking forward to that? Yeah, massively. Um, I suppose our first time captaining for a, a full sort of comp. Um, so, yeah, look, it's exciting. Um, hopefully do as best I can, try and try and lead the lads well. Um, like I said, I'd love the lads to, to have some fun, um, go and express themselves, and hopefully at the end of it, come away with a trophy. Hopefully a little bit better look at the toss than Dane. <laughs> uh, to be fair, I'm not too sure. Last time I was tossing away, I think I had 0-14 and 14 at one point. So, yeah, look... Yeah. As, as the old cliche goes, it only starts a game. <laughs> uh, Josh Brown alongside you. Uh, Josh, um, in terms of Lancashire team, you, you look down, this, I don't know there's one or two that are resting for, for this afternoon, but it's a strong-looking squad, isn't it? Yeah, it's a seriously strong squad. And like Keaton said there, we've got 15 lads that are here now at the minute and, and rowing to go. Um, there's obviously a few few other players to come back into that, Dane being one of them. Obviously, you know, and Keats is standing in as and, and skipper, and I'm sure he do a great job leading us and going forward um, but it just shows the depth that we've got at the club we've lost seven or eight players mm. to the hundred or to England duties and stuff like that and we've still got a really strong side that's been the case for the last few weeks hasn't it really kind of dealing with call-ups and with injuries but it does show the strength and depth I think at Lancashire yeah I mean it's one one thing we pride ourselves on is you know lads that aren't playing and through whatever reason it's unfortunate and but everyone knows as well that everyone's competing and everyone can take your spot at any time. No one's, no one's set in there, which is, which is a great thing to have as a team. In terms of the competition, is it quite difficult to kind of second-guess how it might unfold because teams are affected with call-ups and with players being away? Is it, is it a slightly open competition, you reckon? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you, obviously, you, you can never tell yourself what you're going to do in eight, in eight matches' time. Mm. But I, uh, for one thing that is for certain, and, and Keats will make sure this happens, is everyone will be fighting every single game, wh wh whoever goes out on that field at that time um, we'll surely be you know trying to go and bring that job back at the end of this and end of the season and uh, hopefully have something to look back on and, and be a real good summer so close on finals day wasn't it so this is a this is obviously a chance to win a win a trophy you must be you know as, as a team pretty determined to try and do that yeah absolutely I mean obviously I didn't feature in that finals day uh, but I think watching from the sidelines you know I was I was probably as nervous as anyone <laughs> in the middle uh, if not more so but um, yeah, I think the anticlimax of that day, you know, probably gives everyone in this dressing room just that little bit more hunger to make sure that we try and go one better in this comp. Yeah, just put it back to throw it back to Keaton in terms of the the the, the recovery from finals day. You've, mm. as a team, responded superbly. You've won two championship, <laughs> championship <laughs> matches on the back of it. It's been a, a great response, hasn't it? Yeah, to be fair, I mean, the last couple of weeks have been brilliant. Um, I mean, the man standing next to me has been absolutely outstanding. Um, it's been, been brilliant to see the way the lads have gone about their work really. I mean, we come from two pretty tough positions um, and the lads have fought back beautifully. And like Bosch was saying, I'd love the lads to fight over the next month. Um, and we've, we've done that in absolute abundance the last two weeks. So, look, hopefully it continues. Um, 
I'll try not mention finals day too many more yeah, times. I think it's yeah. still a <laughs> bit of a thorn in a lot of our sides. Um, but yeah, look, I mean, a great experience. Um, and hopefully we can take on a little bit of that championship momentum into the next couple of weeks. I know it's a bit of a cliche, but can actually, and this is the last time I'll mention finals day, <laughs> can, can, can you kind of use it? Can you use that disappointment to try and motivate you for the rest of the, of the campaign? Oh, massively, yeah. Look, I think j just as the, as the day goes, it's a huge experience. You play in front of, what, 25,000 people. Um, the, the loss is one thing, um, but just the experience of being at the day, um, being put underneath that pressure um, is, is huge. And all of the lads that played um, or in and around the environment will massively benefit from that. So can you use it? Yes. You probably learn a lot more by losing because you do get the kick in the teeth. Um, and look, hopefully the lads take that and put it in the right place and we actually go forward and, and win the trophy. You mentioned the form that Josh is in. We're seeing one member of the top three, but the three of you with Luke as well are in fa fabulous form at the minute, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, obviously, Luke being the best looking of the three. Um, uh, yeah, look, I mean, the, uh, Luke and, and Bosch have played absolutely beautifully. And it's been, it's been a, I suppose, a bit of a dream start, really, for, for the three of us, really. So, look, it, it's, I think the way we've gone about it, really, um, we've chatted nicely um, in around training. Um, I think we've we've shared each other's game, which I think is maybe different to, to other years. We've kind of opened up a little bit more um, and been able to kind of communicate where maybe our side flaws are. Um, and I think we've really helped each other over the last couple of weeks. So it's been it's, it, it's been awesome. Would you go along with that, Josh, as well? With what, sorry? With, with what Keaton just said there about the kind of communication, about the, the, you know, the way that you're kind of all working together as, as, a, as a top three? Yeah, um, it's definitely something we've, we've improved on for right. sure. Um, like Keaton says, uh, you know, chatting around training, and opening up to each other about how we, how our games look, um, and what that looks as us as a, as a top three setup. Um, we helped each other all, all in the winter, and obviously Keats had, had difficulties around there with, with some injuries. But the way he's come back in the season to start with 100, and obviously we have, as we all saw the double against Yorkshire and the, and the triple at Southport was magnificent. And you know I learned a lot from him. I'm sure every now and again he learns the odd thing from me, and I learn a lot from Luke and, and Sim. And we just share thoughts around different pitches, different balls, uh, and what that looks like for us to try and, you know, try and get as many points and as many runs as possible for the for the team and get the win. Cool. You've been great to watch the last few weeks. Been fantastic. We're, we're going to hopefully get some cricket at some at some stage. Just on the the venue, guys. I, I mean, we get we get all kind of romantic when we come here. I mean, it is it is a place some place to play, isn't it? It's amazing. Uh, you know, I've, this is our third time here now. Uh, and still, it still grabs you a little bit when you when you look up there and, and see the hill when you're fielding or batting or whatever. And I think just the facilities at this this venue as well is magnificent, and uh, they've always been great to us. Mm. Cool, good stuff. Thank Cheers, you. guys. Cheers. Fingers Cheers. crossed. We're going to get some play at some stage uh, this afternoon. the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at UN92.
are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are Unified. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best, breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game-changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it a sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fun we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA 92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolve. This is UA 92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fun. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
with the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at UN92. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fun. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are Unified. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players, Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitments of passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it a sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolve. This is UA 92.
OK, we're still here at uh, Semper School. Uh, we're still waiting, hopefully, for some play to start um, at some point this afternoon. The official word is lunch is at 1 o'clock and then a further inspection at 1.40. It is brighter and it's quite nice and warm. We've not had any rain now since the early part of this morning. So, fingers crossed, we'll see a little bit of cricket at some stage. The ground staff are working hard, as you can see, and conditions are good. And the crowds are starting to develop as well. Um, like as you're back here at Seba uh, today and on Tuesday when the Royal London One Day Cup gets underway in full. Cricket writer Paul Edwards is alongside me. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Scott. It's Just about. absolutely delightful to be here and you've underplayed the gloriousness of the weather. <laughs> yeah, well, it's lovely now, isn't it? But this is, this is a pretty spectacular venue to, to watch cricket at for, isn't it? It's an absolutely magnificent venue. It's my favourite venue uh, on the whole circuit and I hope Lancashire have the good sense to continue to bring games here. They certainly should given the cricketers that have come from Cumbria to play at Old Trafford in the past and it's magnificent I think particularly Scott to see the, the faith and trust that people have put in the possibility of cricket by turning up to watch this game between Cumbria and Lancashire. The ground is ring not with hundreds of spectators but with a few hundred people and plenty in the hospitality tent who know how to spend their time before uh, a long luncheon ends. <laughs> and it's marvellous to see, to see the ground as it is. Yeah. We, we've been lucky enough to see games at Southport and Birkdale Cricket Club. Mm -hmm. um, four day championship match there just the other week. Um, T20 games at Blackpool. There's a 50 over match at Blackpool as well. So we've, we, we've got across the northwest, really, haven't we? Watching we have. Lancashire, which I think it's a, it's a good thing, isn't it? It is. It's, a, it's been a dirty job, but someone's got to do it, haven't <laughs> they, Scott, really? It, I think it's been terrific to go back to the clubs from which Lancashire yeah. get so many of their players. And spe people sometimes say to me, oh, why should we play at outgrounds? And I say, well, where did Lancashire, where did Stephen Croft learn his cricket? At Blackpool. At my own club, which most people know is Southport and Birkdale, we're trying to give help JJ Fielding develop develop his play and he's in the Cumbrian side on um, the Cumbrian squad certainly uh, for this game that I even if we have a reduced overs game we'll be playing we'll we'll be playing in this game so it's I think very important to go back to the clubs and to give other people in the um, in the county Lancashire for some reason styled themselves as Lancashire Cricket Club and have left out the county I think it's useful to remind everyone that Lancashire, like Yorkshire, is a huge county and it often taps into players from, well, it always taps into players from far and wide and it'll be gr it's just great to be back somewhere like here. It does feature in your new book, this ground, isn't it, quite a bit? Well, it, that was the easiest decision um, of all, that I, ha I, once I decided the title of the book, which was also quite easy, would be Summer, Summer Day's Promise. I wanted a picture of Sedba on the front cover and my publishers sent me, I think, six uh, photographs from which, from which I would choose my favourite. I think two of them were just a joke because, frankly, they looked like nuclear winter. But from the other four, I had a picture of this with a huge blue sky and I asked my, I would, he won't mind a name check, I asked my friend Graham Hardcastle uh, which one he preferred and he chose the one that is on the cover of the book and he said it just screams summer at you. And even today, I mean, you know that, that I, um, ever keen to do as much preparation as possible, turned up at Sedbra on, on Friday evening for a game that begins on Sunday, and I'm going to be here till, till Wednesday morning. Um, but I turned up here on, on Friday, and it, it rained from about half past five on yesterday morning, Saturday, until about 10 o'clock today. But... It was absolutely fascinating to see the fells and now to see the weather as it is mm. and to see the shade over there on Boar Fell. And it, it's, rather as one, it's rather like it's Constable noted in his, his paintings when he was painting skies. The, the sky had never been quite as it was on that particular day that he, that he painted a particular picture and he wanted to capture it because it wouldn't be there again. And it's for me, it's more or less the same when I look across because the sun, as I speak, is dappling the fells <laughs> and it's never quite been like that again 
and it won't be like that again, and it's, it, it won't be like that ever again, and it's just an enormous privilege to be here. And if, you, if one's spirits aren't raised by, by being here, uh, then it's time to shut up shop and go <laughs> home, really. Um, you paint such a lovely romantic picture of Liverpool, uh, which is visible for us all to see. In terms of the competition, then, what, what are you kind of looking forward to across the next month in the Royal London One Day Cup? I'm quite happy to talk about that for, for another <laughs> ten minutes if you want. Um, what am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward... It was a curious situation, wasn't it? Because everybody, including one or two um, less well-informed of my colleagues, were taking the ECB line last year and calling the Royal London Cup a development competition. Well, maybe it was, but what people found, what they found was that spectators rather enjoyed watching young cricketers develop. We saw players last year play in the Royal London Cup who have since gone on to play first team cricket. And what we found, what I found when I travel around the country to places like Grantham and, and of course to, to Sedba, was that uh, quite good crowds were attracted by the prospect, and they pre simply preferred that. I make no comment about the 100, but they simply preferred that to watching 16.4 um, over games in Test Match Arenas. What am I looking forward to? I'm looking forward to seeing cricketers that I've never seen before get their first chance uh, to play first team cricket. When I was down in Somerset, I was talking to and about Jack Brooks, who's actually one of my favourite cricketers. And when Somerset were playing their Royal London Cup games and they were missing quite a lot of first-team cricketers, Jack would get the youngsters who were playing their, making their list day debuts, making their first-team debuts in some uh, cases, and say, look, this is the beginning of your career. This is what matters. This is what you've worked for. This is why you turned up at Nets. Uh, under 13 nets in April when it was freezing cold and, and more or less when, the ball, when, you, when you stopped the ball it hurt. This is what the, what the winter nights were for when your parents drove you to nets and you had to fit in your homework around those. This here is what, you're working, is what you've been working towards playing first team county cricket and for some Lancashire cricketers People like George Bell, they may make their, we saw him make his debut in the T20 at Blackpool, but there's every chance that George is going to make it, but this will be an important month for him and it'll be my privilege to see his cricket develop. Okay, well we we'll look forward to watching it all unfold over the next month or so. Um, just to recap where we're at, it's uh, lunch at one o'clock and a further inspection at, at 1.40. Um, so fingers crossed we're going to we will see some play hopefully the ground staff are still busy working and it does look as Paul described it does look an absolute picture um, and the weather thankfully is with us hopefully for the next few hours as well so fingers crossed um, lunch at one o'clock next inspection at 140 and we hope for some good news then The best seats in the house, it matters where you stay.
life is what you make it. So make it count. Make it better. Make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile. Make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media. Make it a sport. Make it in business. Make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is education evolved. This is UA 92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful we are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best, breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is a game changer. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is education evolved. This is UA 92.
want the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fun. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fun we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We, we are, are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA 92.
want the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fun we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players, Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydot Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are Unified. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is education evolved. This is UA92.
want the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it a sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful we are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best, breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is education evolved. This is UA 92.
best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players, Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitments of passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fun. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are Unified. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players, Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house. It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydot Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
want the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it a sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is game changing. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players, Sparked from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big. And inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition and youth. So what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Paydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua 92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolve. This is UA 92.
best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fans we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolved. This is UA 92.
the best seats in the house? It matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at UN92. We are driven. We are passion. We are the fans. We are the future. We are equal. We are Manchester. We are a community. We are here to win. We are exceptional. We are spirited. We are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradwick Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best. Breaking the boundaries and never giving up. Are you ready to become your best self? Are you ready to unlock your greatness? UA92 is a game changer. Created to accelerate careers in business, media and sport. Much more than a qualification, it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life. Become your best and connect with the best. With placements, with major players. Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is Education Evolve. This is UA 92.
the best seats in the house, it matters where you stay. Life is what you make it, so make it count. Make it better, make it greater. Make it have a purpose. Make it worthwhile, make it faster. Make it work for you. Make it loving what you do. Make it your passion. Make it happen. Make it in media, make it in sport, make it in business, make it in digital. Make it possible. Make it easy. Make it your way. Don't just make it through each day. Make it pay. Make it for real at U United 2. driven we are passion we are the fun we are the future we are equal we are manchester we are a community we are here to win we are exceptional we are spirited we are powerful. We are the Manchester Indians Cricket Club. The Ashton Tigers Cricket Club. The Lancashire Disability Squad. Bradway Cricket Club. Didsbury Cricket Club. Greenmount Cricket Club. Haydock Cricket Club. We are Thunder. We are Lancashire Lightning. We are, we are United. United. This is a call for hungry dreamers and hard-working self-believers. Success is down to more than just luck and talent. It's striving to be the best breaking the boundaries and never giving up are you ready to become your best self are you ready to unlock your greatness ua92 is game changing created to accelerate careers in business media and sport much more than a qualification it's a personal development journey that prepares you for life become your best and connect with the best with placements with major players Spark from the minds of the class of 92. Their tradition of dreaming big and inspired by the commitment to passion, preparedness, ambition, and youth. So, what are you waiting for? This is education evolved. This is UA 92.
Come red toss and ball. We all good? Yep. Cool. Excellent. Um, good news. We're going to play. Quarter past three start. We've been waiting some time. Keaton Jennings, Lancashire captain's with me. What's the news in the middle, Keaton? Uh, we've lost the toss. We are betting. Uh, probably would have looked to bet first anyway. Um, glorious day in Sidba. So, yeah, go out, get some runs and, and bowl afterwards. I'm just looking at your team. Quite a strong team you've learned. Yeah, very nice. Uh, strong side. Um, obviously, we've got a couple of guys racing. Um, but, yeah, strong side and a good opportunity for guys to, to get a good run into the comp. Yeah, we waited some time for some cricket, but we must be pleased, <laughs> we must be pleased to get some. We have indeed. Yeah, look, I mean, there's, there's quite a few people down here, yeah? um, so we've got to make sure we've got an entertain and, and really sort of showcase our skills, which would be good fun. Obviously, reduced to 23 overs per side, so kind of what can you take from it for a 50 over kind of competition in terms of build up to that? Um, I think that's probably the biggest thing, the, the, the actual competition. Um, you coming out into a game scenario, uh, putting your, your skills under pressure. So, yeah, like I say, come out into the middle, entertain, showcase our skills, and have some fun. Cheers, Keaton. Good luck. Cheers, man. Thank you.
welcome to our live coverage from Sepa School of Cumbria against Lancashire in the showcase game ahead of the Royal London One Day Cup competition starting uh, on Tuesday for Lancashire. As you can see, Lancashire batting first. I'll run through the, the full teams for you in just a second or two, but second run scored there for Lancashire. A little flick away towards square leg for a single. So two without loss. We're down to 22 um, overs uh, per side from the original 50, but at least we've got some cricket. That's the that's the main thing. And we've got uh, uh, Josh Sterling bowling for Cumbria, a young Cumbria team. I'll run through the details of uh, the Cumbria and indeed Lancashire side throughout the course of these next few overs as we watch Balderson waiting. And that's down the leg side and singled as a wide by the umpire. Umpires Lloyd and Mustard for this fixture, and they've given it every single possible chance to try and get a game. And the patience of supporters has been rewarded with 22 overs to be bowled. A little push away up towards the bowler, and there is uh, no run. So we're live across Lanx TV and across the BBC Sport website and the app as well for this um, fixture. And skip down the pitch by Balderson and worked away through mid-wicket. And he gets through for a um, single. Got one ball left of the first over of the, the match. We do now have, thankfully, lovely conditions and a pretty, dr pretty dry outfield. There's a slight issue with the, uh, the takeoff marks. As this is hit back over the bowler's head, one bounce and four runs for Luke Wells. First boundary of the innings, good looking shot. One bounce in towards the the sight screen. And that completes the first over of the the match. So eight runs from it. Five for Wells and two for Balderson. So Cumbria winning the toss and electing to have a ball first. I like I should have gone with a pretty strong team. Back here on Tuesday, of course, for the Essex match. I'll run through Lancashire's side in just a moment or two. This is how Cumbria line up with uh, Ben Davidson, who's in for Gary Pratt, unavailable for this fixture. If I both captains um, not playing, with Dane Velas ruled out now for a few weeks. So Keaton Jennings skippers Lancashire, and Matthew Sempel ki uh, skippers the Cumbria side. So Ben Davidson, Evan Williams, Nathan Waterston. Uh, Matt Semple, Ben Walkton, uh, JJ Fielding, Finlay Richardson, Josh Sterling, uh, Brody Glendinning, <laughs> Regan Jackson, and Matthew Siddle make up the Cumbria side. It will be Glendinning to uh, bowl that the second over of the of the match. As for Lancashire, um, well the opening batters here: Luke Wells and George Balderson, and their team in full as we watch um, Glenn Dinning in and over the wicket and bowling and played off the back foot and played nicely away through the offside and a single added to Balderson's total he moves on to three and score moves on to nine without loss so to Jennings and Wells uh, Bohannon Rob Jones Danny Lamb George Balderson George Lavelle George Bell Jack Blatherwick Liam Hurt and um and Jack Morley make up the uh, Lancashire side for this uh, this fixture. And a decent number of spectators inside the ground. So they've been waiting pretty patiently for some for some live cricket. Glendinning balls again, just steered away back with a point by Luke Wells. And again, there is no run. So every uh, first class county is playing a neighbouring national county side today is uh, the preparation for the Royal London One Day Cup. And of course, we did the same thing last year. We we're here for the match uh, between these two sides um, last year, ahead of the competition um, starting. And it's lovely to be back at, at Sepa School as well. Glenn Dinning comes in and bowls. Dabbed away into the offside. Wells gets through for a single, so he moves on to six, and the score moves on to um, ten without loss. Yeah. 
with Bolson back on strike. And it's a young Cumbria side. In fact, a team containing five teenagers. But what an experience it will be for them to, to face Lancashire this afternoon. And some looking drive into the offside by Balderson, but there is no run. It's a 10 without loss. You have five teenagers across this at Cumbria side, obviously eager to get out and play and take on Lancashire in this showcase game. There'll be plenty of family and friends either watching the live stream or here inside the ground as well. Glendinning bowling, and that's driven again. Bolson gets a single up towards mid-off. And there is no well, one run. Score moves on to 11 without loss with a delivery to go of the third over of the of the innings. We'll keep a little look at some of the games elsewhere in these fixtures. Oh, that's sent out towards that uh, mid-on region. It'd be worth two, I think, for Wells. Oh, no, they'll come back for a third. It's a three to Luke Wells. He moves on to nine, and that does complete the second over. So 14 without loss after two. With Wells on nine, and George Balderson also batting for, uh, for Lancashire, the opening pair in this uh, fixture. Reverse sweep this time by Luke Wells, and he gets through for a single. He moves on to 10. Score moves on to 15 without loss in the start of the third over. Josh Sterling continuing for Cumbria from the Evans end of the ground. Evans and Powell, the name of the, the two ends here at Sebba School. Paulson with a little step down the pitch, and that's Flicked away towards square leg for a, for two. Score moves on to 17 without loss in the third over. Sterling balls again. Balls and lifts the ball high out towards deep mid wicket. And that's gone all the way, I think, for six. Man out there on the deep. Umpire's just looking for a little bit of clarification. No, one bounce and four, actually, just this side of the rope. Lofted out towards that deep mid-wicket region. Balls and moves on to 10. The score moves on to 21. Without loss, as Sterling brings balls and forward, hit firmly along the ground, past the ball up. Moves on to 11, 22. Without loss, we have a reduced power play. It's the first five overs. Power play number one. Wells will clip this ball through the onside. In calls Bolderson through for a single. Wells moves on to 11. Glenn Dinning with the field in there for Cumbria. Score moves on to 23. Without loss, and again, balls from with the use of the feet. Works the ball away towards mid wicket for a single. And that completes the third over. So 24. Without loss, three overs gone. With Balderson and Wells opening the batting here for Lancashire. We just joined our coverage on Lanx TV and via the BBC Sport website and the app. 
And Lancashire naming a strong side. Captain by Keaton Jennings. Cumbria with a, a team with plenty of youngsters in it. Five teenagers in total. Glenn Dinning comes in and starts a second over. Bolts and drives, but to mid on. And there is uh, no run. So Bolts and Wells, Josh Bohannon, George Bell, Keaton Jennings, George Lavelle, Danny Lamb, Jack Morley, Jack Blatherwick, Liam Hurt, Rob Jones make up the Lancashire side. Partially stopped by the uh, wicket keeper. That one sent it down the leg side by Glenn Dinning. A good stop by Richardson. Keeps wicket for Cumbria. Denning a right arm over the wicket and balls and again hit back over this bowler's head. Lovely lofted drive. It plugs as it hits the ground. And Balderson comes back for two. Moves on to 14. The score moves on to 26. Without loss, we're halfway through the fourth over. So a bright start by George Balderson and by Luke Wells. And Denning balls again. Up and over extra cover out towards the boundary. Mid off will get round. Get through for a single. Balls moves on to 15 now. 27 without loss. Two deliveries remaining of the fourth over. Denning into Wells. That's swatted away towards deep backward square leg. One bounce and four runs for Wells. Heaved away towards a little bank of spectators who are sat watching. Wells moves on to 15, 31 without loss. One ball left to the fourth over. And Wells goes back over the ball with his head. Successive boundaries. Powerfully hit by Wells. He's been in good form for Lancashire. Struck that well. Hits the advertising board and loops over that. In towards the... Uh, the netting behind the sight screen. And that's the end of the fourth over. So 35 without loss. Wells 19. Balderson unbeaten on 15 for Lancashire. With one over left of the um, these shortened power plays. Of course, it's the warm up for the 50 over one day cup for Lancashire, but difficult to replicate, I guess. That kind of type of match will uh, be reflected in the shortened format, but it's a chance, as Keaton Jennings said to us at the toss, for the batters to get out there and feel bat on ball and get themselves ready for the start of the one day cup on Tuesday, back here for that match in our little media tent. It's uh, Jackson in from the Evans end. That's got us high away towards the offside. Oh, great effort by Glenn Dinning to try and take the catch, chasing after it. Got hands to it as well. Hit away high towards deep mid wicket. And Glenn Dinning chasing after it, the ball dropping over his shoulder. Puts the dive in. 
In and out the hands. Good effort, though. That would have been a spectacular catch. He looks a little cross with himself, not taking it. Paulson drives the ball away through the offside. Wants to come back for two and does. Moves on to 19, George Balderson. 39. Without loss. It's Regan Jackson. He's right arm over the wicket and bowling. Slapped back oh, over man. his head. One bounce and another four. Second of this knock for George Balderson. Fifth of the innings for Lancashire. Trying to capitalise upon this power play. Fielding restrictions are in place. Mid off and mid on inside the the ring. Forty-three on the board now. It's off the back foot and cut away. That's a good tumbling stop on the boundary. Wells, 19 from nine. Down on one knee. It's a terrific shot up and over. The man on the cover boundary, six for, for Wells. First six of the innings. It brings up the 50 as well, that for Lancashire. Wells moves on to 25. So 50 partnership for the first wicket. With the final ball of this opening power play to be sent down. Muscles the ball away through mid wicket this time. That's gone for four. Regan Jackson in, just dropping too short. And Wells muscling the ball out th through the leg side. Good work by the two supporters there. Coming up from the uh, top of that little hill. And fetching the ball, 54 without loss then. Five overs gone. Luke Wells has 29 and George Balderson is unbeaten on 24. So we've had so far two innings from Sterling, two from Glendinning. Two overs from Sterling, two from Glendinning, one from Jackson. And now Matthew Siddle comes into the attack. Sterling, two overs for 18. Glendinning, two overs for 17. And uh, Regan Jackson sending down his first over, one for 19. And Matthew Siddle from Cockermouth. <laughs> His uh, left arm spin. And Balderson eases the ball along the ground through the leg side. Glendinning comes up from the boundary. Balderson gets a single. And who's on to 25? 55 without loss. Twirl the bat from Luke Wells. It's quite a warm day now. Settle just mopping his brow, bowling left arm over the wicket to the left hander. Wells just trying to weave it down towards backward point. But there's no run. Short third backward point. Cover and mid off. Siddle not releasing the delivery there. No ball signal by the umpire. Well, 
Wales. Waits as Settle comes in, he's down the pitch and hits it back over the bowler's head, long on coming up and in position. Oh, doesn't take the catch cleanly. Ball, Wells comes back for two. Taking on the, the shot, Wells out towards wide long on. Eyes fixed firmly on the ball. In position, just couldn't take the catch. Wells moves on to 31, 57. Without loss, because on the reverse this time, Luke Wells. It's a good looking shot, two players. And back will point short third and managed to reverse sweep it between the pair of them, comes back for two. Enterprising stuff from Luke Wells, 31, correction, 33 for him now. And 59 without loss, two balls left of the sixth over. Yes, yeah, Siddle has got his long on and long off right on the boundary. Cover, extra cover, back will point, short third. He's down on one knee looking to try and slog sweep the ball out towards his deep mid-wicket boundary, but... The ball just squirts away, backward of point. Wells gets a single, moves on to 34. Score, ticks along to 50. 60 without loss. Siddell bowls again. A little flatter this time and bowls with a skip down the pitch and hits it back beyond the ball up. And keeps the strike as well, George Bolderson. That's the end of the over. Six gone. Bolderson has 26. And Luke Wells and beaten on 34. And Lancashire, 61 without loss. And six overs gone. So a good opening partnership between these two. For Lancashire with their eyes firmly on the start to the competition on Tuesday. Interesting that they've opened up with Balderson and with Wells for this fixture. Whether they see that potentially as something that might work for them on Tuesday. Or just perhaps for this particular fixture. Looks like Walkton, I think Ben Walkton. Ben Walkton from the from the Evans end. Walked in and bowling four balls straight and hit towards mid off for a single. Bolson moves on to 27. Yeah. Lancashire 62 without loss. Firmly by Wells. Out through the offside, all along the ground. Piece of work, saving two runs there. Wells may have been thinking he'd hit that uh, hard enough for four, but good work in the outfield. It's a 64 without loss. Spectacular surroundings of Seba School on Lanx TV. Walked him. Balls again. And this time caught Wells. That uh, deepish mid-off. I think that could be the captain. And that's the captain that's taking the catch. It is, yeah, Matthew Simple with a catch, running backwards. Third time lucky for Cumbria. Two drops previously. And Lancashire lose their first wicket in the seventh over. 36 to Luke Wells, a 64 for one. That's 36 off 17 deliveries with four fours and a six. After a couple of previous dropped chances, Cumbria hang on to the to, to this one. Thanks to their captain. 
Wells having to make the walk back up the stairs towards the pavilion. And coming the, in the other direction is Josh Bohannon. One in form batter replaced by another. He's enjoyed a good few weeks, Josh Bohannon. For a slightly lean spell, he got himself back in the runs at Southport and Burtdale in the championship match against Somerset with a 90 and then century against Northamptonshire and then another one against Kent. So he's been in good form over the course of the last two or three weeks. As indeed is Lancashire's top three, Jennings, Wells and Bohannon have been in uh, fine form in the county championship. It's a 64 for one, halfway through the seventh over. And ben walked him with the with the breakthrough, the first one for Cumbria. Short sleeves for Josh Barnum. He's walked him over the wicket and bowls. He gets into this delivery. It's pushing off the front foot. Good stop, backward of point. Flirting with the idea of a run there. And they decided against it. So dot ball first up for Bohannon. 64 for one. His first run here just eased up towards mid on. Pick up and throw by Glenn Dinning. Trying to run Bohannon out, but he's safely through for a single. 65 for one with a delivery to go of the seventh. Gets Balderson back on strike. Another quick single just pushed away into the uh, the offside. I think Bohannon fancied that, and Bolson was quick to react. So that's the end of the seventh over, 66 for one. Looking like a much brighter day now after a drizzly day yesterday and indeed first thing this morning run rate just checked a little bit with a four that first wicket there's Bolson going high back over the ball with his head and he's caught on the long arm boundary a wicket for Sidel first ball of his second over Caught it at uh, long on by um, Davidson. Ben Davidson with the catch. Watching the ball all the way into his hands and jogging a few paces backwards as he as he kept balance. Now he's put one down, of course, previously, <laughs> Davidson, but Makes no mistake with that one. So Lancashire lose their second wicket, 66 for two. And Rob Jones comes out to bat. For Lancashire. Balderson, 28 off 24 deliveries with two fours. So wicket for Walkton, one for Tidal. Jones comes out to bat, played his part too in that victory against Kent. An important innings, 65. In Lancashire's second innings to get that uh, total, which allowed them to declare last week. 
and then bowl Kent out on the final day. It was a good finish to the game. And a good win for Lancashire, which just keeps them in with the chance of trying to force some pressure on Surrey and Hampshire, the top two in Division One. So Jones waits for the push it away for the first time out into the offside. Glenn Dinning comes up to complete the fielding, and there is no run. Mentioned that this is one fixture of many taking place across the um, country. The national counties taking on their first class neighbours. Sid Hall balls again and field up off his own bowling as Jones pushes the ball away. And there's no run. 66 for two. Good work there down to his left hand side. Good stop off his own bowling. Jones gets a single hit. He'll push into the offside and darts through for one. 67 for two. Balls to go of the eighth. Bannon drives again into the offside. Glenn Dinning once more fielding. And there is uh, no run. He just pulls away, doesn't release the ball at the last moment. him with a bit of extra pace and Bannon will work the ball away off the pads and jog through for a single and keeps the strike so eight overs gone 68 for two so it's a little flavor as to what's happening elsewhere so Yorkshire are playing Northumberland the Yorkshire batting at 50 without loss Gloucestershire up against Wiltshire this week three six seven for five Gloucestershire so Wiltshire with a run chase. Sussex playing Oxfordshire. Oxfordshire 205 all out. Sussex 125 for four. It's Hampshire Dorset. Dorset 16 for two. Applying to Hampshire's 274 for nine. And he's walked and balls again to Bohannon just eased away to backward point for a single. 69 for two. Warwickshire playing Cheshire. And Cheshire six without loss, and they've been set 3-8 three, three to beat Warwickshire. Glamorgan are playing Wales, and Glamorgan made 3-3-1 three, three, for seven. The game taking place at Safari Gardens in Cardiff. Walked in bowling, jo Rob Jones. And Lancashire lose their third wicket. 69 for three, Jones bowled for one. Paul coming back in and crashing into his off stump. Look over the shoulder from Rob Jones. Doesn't look good for the batter. The stump uprooted. But one certainly for the bowler to enjoy. Second wicket for Ben Walkden. It's a 69 for three in the ninth. I swear Essex are up against Cambridgeshire. Cambridgeshire set 289 to win. Kent taking on Suffolk. Kent made 431 for seven. Suffolk 44 without loss in reply. Northamptonshire against Bedfordshire. Northants 319 from 50 overs. Bedfordshire 40 for three. 
Middlesex against Berkshire. Middlesex 350 all out, Berkshire 82 for one in reply. Herefordshire against Worcestershire. Worcestershire 44 for three, set one 93 to win. Lincolnshire taking on Durham this week. Durham chasing 210 to win that match. Surrey, Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire 78 for two, set 269 to win. Staffordshire against Leicestershire. Game being played in Stoke and Trent. As George Lavelle faces Wharton for the first time, that's nudged out to mid wicket for no run. Staffordshire 21 for one. That's been reduced to 29 overs, bit of rain around in the yeah, potteries. Derbyshire playing Shropshire. Derbyshire 325 for four from 36 overs, and Cornwall are playing Somerset. Cornwall 255 for eight. As Lavelle just drops the ball out into the offside for no run. And Somerset 114 for one in reply. So some terrific cricket being played around the country with the national counties taking on their, their neighbouring first class rivals. Some big afternoons for a lot of club grounds and club cricketers who are, have the chance to shine and perform. Getting level off the back foot, just works it back down the pitch, and there is no rum. One ball left of the ninth. Bohannon three from five, and George Lavelle, new batter, faced three deliveries so far, has played last couple of weeks for Lancashire in uh, place of uh, Dane Velas, who there's a finger injury that gets him shuffling across the crease and that little bit of movement away from Lavelle. Taken by the keeper. And there's no run. So nine overs gone, 69 for three. Bohannon has three and Lavelle on naught. Three pretty quick wickets just seeing the run rate drop a fraction. Had a wicket in each of the last three overs. And could come back from Cumbria after 50 runs were put on for the the first wicket. Opening partnership between George Bolson and Luke Wells is worth 64. Sit all in and bowling, and that's driven safely along the ground through mid off for a single. Picked up by uh, Ben Davidson. The score moves on to 70 for three. Lavelle just taking guard from umpire Phil Mustard. Sit down in and balls to Lavelle. That's flicked off the pads out towards deep backward square leg. And he gets his first run, George Lavelle. Score moves on to 71 for three. We're in the 10th over. And struck away through the offside. Oh, that's a good start by Glenn Dinning. Down well to his right hand side. Sent away through the onside and caught it uh, on the boundary. Fourth wicket to fall. George Lavelle, the man out, came down the pitch, hits it high towards deep mid wicket. Out in the deep. Bit of ground to make up 
away to his left-hand side. JJ Fielding does ever so well. He moves 15 or 20 yards to his left. Takes a good catch. Lancashire lose their fourth wicket, 72 for four. We're in the 10th over. Cumbria fighting hard here. They were up against an opening partnership worth 64 between Balderson and Wells. But since the fall of Luke Wells, wickets have tumbled pretty quickly. 64 without loss to 64 for one, 66 for two, 69 for three, and 72 for four. Danny Lamb is the new batter for Lancashire. Matthew Siddell taking his f second wicket, two for 12 now. So Lamb's on strike, two balls left for the 10th over. Appealing for an LBW settle. Jogging backwards, right arm outstretched, pleading towards the umpire. Little shake of the head from umpire Phil Mustard, who says not out. The ball of the 10th, it's a dot ball to end it. That completes 10 overs, 72 for four. Just that one partnership at the top, nothing since. 64 between Balderson and Wells. And barely a mark in the following partnerships. And A wicket in each of the last four overs just sees that uh, run rate drop. It's now over to Bohannon and to Lamb. And two wickets for Siddle and two for Walkton. For Cumbria. Walkton to continue his third over. Just eased away off the front foot through the offside. Glenn Dinning's been pretty busy. Fielded well. Again, he stops the ball, but they are through for a single. Seventy-three for four brings Lamb back on strike. gets underway with that uh, shot just worked along the ground through mid on and moves on to one seventy four for four Brown and back on strike turn to mid wicket for for, for a single Semple again coming up from the boundary to complete the field. It's just a one. It's a single off each of the first three deliveries of the 11th over. Four successive singles to start the 11th. And I'm just working the ball across that front pad. Out towards deep square leg for one. 76 for four. Lamb moves on to two. Brings Josh Bohannon. On strike. Walkton's in and bowling. Can they take another single? Single. 
Semple comes up from the boundary again to Fields. A 77 for four. A runner ball at the minute. Bannon moves on to eight, brings Lamb back on strike. Walked in and bowls to Lamb, who just drops the ball out to the offside and chokes through for one. And that is the end of the 11th over. Six off it. Bohannon on eight. Lamb on three. And Lancashire 78 for four after 11. So at the halfway stage. Pushing off the front foot again by Lamp. Once one, pick up and throw towards the ball was in by Glenn Dinning. Trying to run. Danny Lamb out. Lamb does get a single, moves on to four, 79 for four. Thinks another one bad then here off the front foot. Dropped away to extra cover, gets through for a single, 80 for four. Siddal left arm round the wicket, balls, and that's off the back foot and cut away. Take one, can cut away for a single. 81 for four. Ball to complete the 12th over, 81 for four. Bohannon nine, Lamb on five. over is gone. Bodderson, Wells, Jones and Lavelle. The four wickets to four. Bodderson for 28, Wells for 36, Jones for one and Lavelle for one. He's walked in. Starting his fourth and final over, that'll be a no ball. Swatted away for four. and that's heaved out through the leg side. One bounce and four more runs. Ready. 
towards that deep backward square leg boundary. Expensive start to the over. No ball to begin with, and it went for four. So six off that, and then four off the next. So ten off the first two deliveries. Well, effectively the first the first delivery. Leg by signal there by umpire Graham Lloyd. Ninety-two for four. And he had two balls of the 13th over. Single up towards the captain of Cumbria, long on. 93 for four. Bahanen moves on to 10, so into double figures. He's walked and balls and it's defended by Lamp up off to his toes and just dropping it back down the pitch. And there is uh, no run. Ben walked him. An academy player with Lancashire. One of a few that um, come through the uh, kind of age group cricket. Oh, that's a, a, a lamb, little bottom edge. He gave himself a single for that. He's looking to try and slice the ball away. Little bottom edge past his stumps. Moves on to 14, Daniel Lamb, 94 for four. Partnership's worth 22 now. That's hit straight down the ground by Barnum. Rattles the stumps at the non-striker's end. It completes the 12th, correction, 13th over. Ben walked them four, uh, four overs, two for 24. Just a little bit of acceleration there by Lancashire. Four quick wickets, just slowing things down. But Bahannon and Lamb just piecing things back together again. 10 to Bahannon, 14 to Lamb. And Settle will come and start his uh, fifth over. Slog sweep out towards the, the backward square leg boundary. Now he's gone for six as well. I'm connecting with that nicely over the rope. Spectators ducking for cover. Coming for a nice, pleasant, relaxing afternoon at the cricket and cricket balls hurtling in your direction. A few beers being enjoyed too in the sunshine. Brings up three figures that for Lancashire, 100 for four. Um, I'm looking to cut for the play and a miss into the gloves of the wicket keeper. And there's no run. So 100 for four in the 14th over. Sit on left arm round, just drops a little short and lamb off the back foot. Works it back along the pitch. He's done well then, off his own bowling. And um, Matthew Siddle. His left arm around the wicket. Lamb shuffles back and flicks the ball to deep backward square leg. Chalks through for a single. 21 now to Danny Lambs. 101 for four. The left arm spin of Matthew Siddle. 
Bannon will punch the ball through the offside for one. Again, Glenn Dinning comes round to complete the fielding. He's been busy. The ball's followed him around today. He bowled the... A little earlier on in the power play. Two overs for 17. Might well come back. Glenn Dinning. Final ball of Siddle's fifth as Lamb's in position to try and ramp it. The ball flicked beyond the reach of the keeper. And uh, he's got through for one. And Lamb moves on to 22. So that's 14 overs done. It's 103 for four after 14. And Danny Lamb has 22 and Josh Bahannon unbeaten on the 11. So 20, correction, 31. These two have added now from 27 deliveries. A reminder for you, we're down to 22 overs beside. It was originally 23. <laughs> but they, uh, they, they chopped a couple off before, before, before play started. So we went from 50 to 23 to 22. So 22 overs beside. Well, at least we've got some live cricket to bring you here on um, Lax TV. And picking up the commentary too via the BBC Sport website and the app. A run to start the 15th over of the, uh, the match. Well, I'm just dropping it out towards point and getting through for a single. Say hello to Phil, who's listening to us in Tenerife. Lovely. Cheering on Lancashire cricket from Tenerife. Sent a picture poolside in Tenerife. Very nice. Pagannon drives to mid off, and the Cumbria captain fields low to his left, but Bannon does get a single. He moves on to 12. 105 for four. Looks a little bit that, Phil, but I'll be honest with you. I think I prefer Seba. Albeit the pool does look quite nice. Thanks for your tweet. That's BBC Lynx Cricket on Twitter. And the single just worked away. Takes uh, Lamb onto 24. Score moves on to 106 for four and Ben Walkton into his fifth over now two for 26 for Walkton from the Evans end of the ground and Ballon drives through mid on for one takes him to 13 107 for four two balls remaining of the 15th over Walked and bowling, Lamb down the pitch, hits it high, back over the bowler's head, I suspect over the sight screen, I suspect out the ground. I think it may well be in the churchyard. Six for Lamb. One or two spectators peering over the, the dry stone wall to see if they can see it. The Cumbria fielder thing saying, I'm not quite sure where that's gone. Well, it was hit high by Lamb. And it's uh, it's out the ground. Ah, oh, now we have the. Has it been retrieved already? Oh, it has. Excellent work. Someone's popped over the uh, the wall into the churchyard, and, and it's uh, recovered our cricket ball. 113 for four. Lamb moves to 30, not out. Walked and balls, and just. Steers this one out to bat with point, and again, there's no run. And that's the final ball of the 15th over. So 113 for four. Lamb at 30, and Bohannon unbeaten on 13. There's a little collection of spectators at the Evans end of the ground, which is towards the, the town centre um, side of the 
the ground as we look towards our left hand side there is a church churchyard behind the wall and there's a group of spectators who are just leaning on that wall and there's a spectacular views of the fells of Cumbria and the town centre just on the other side of that church there's a footpath that runs behind the sight screen at the Evans end of the ground plenty of hikers it would seem out and about today it wasn't a day for hiking yesterday it was drizzly misty slightly more pleasant if uh, you're heading out for a walk on this Sunday afternoon Glenn Dinning returns the attack for Cumbria starting his third over and Bannon wants a single straight away and gets one and takes the score onto 114 for four pile of sodas was well used it's a it's a sizable pile of sodas that it's rivaling the fells in the distance and Glenn Dinning in a ball and oh and Lamb looking to, to ramp it and does so successfully into a very impressive little little setup there there's an enormous kind of umbrella which one of the spectators is uh, taking shelter from shelter from the sun perhaps a big blue umbrella which surrounds one of the supporters behind the boundary enterprising stuff from lamb four for him he moves to 34 not out quick single taken to mid off this time Lamb to 35, it's 119 for four. Halfway through the 16th over. Clendenning balls and just late cut down to that will point. Again, it's worth one. But Anna moves to 15. It's 120 for four. Two balls remaining of the 16th over. Partnership edging towards 50. I reckon they've put on 48 these two now. Glendinning in a balls. That's could bring up the 50 partnership. It's pulled away towards deep mid wicket just for one. Lamb rehearsing that shot. Oh, just looking at the toe end of his bat. Quite middle it as he was hoping for. Gets one to take him to 36. 121 for four. So that's 49 runs now between Bohannon and Lamb. Here's Glenn Dinning, final ball of his third over. Pull by Bohannon in front of square. And onto that leg side for one. And Bohannon moves to 16. That completes the over. It's 122 for four. And a 50 partnership between Josh Bohannon and Danny Lamb. The most significant since that opening one between Bolton and Wells. A couple of low scores there, following three partnerships, but this one worth 50. <laughs> Piecing things back together again for Lancashire after, after a good start and a little rattle of wickets. It's three quick wickets to fall. Just stopped Lancashire's flow, really. And a good partnership between these two. Doesn't it look a picture, the ground? Blue sky now. Plenty of sunshine around, which is great. It's 
going to be the Cumbria captain. Matthew Semple into the attack for the first time. Captain the team for the first time as well. And then bowling to behind him, flicking the ball away through the onside. Getting through for a single, it's a bit more left arm spin. And here comes the skipper. Oh, and Lamb goes on the reverse. Plays a good looking shot for four runs as well. Takes him to 40 from 27 deliveries. Been quite enterprising, Lamb. It's a couple of scoops and ramps and reverse sweep. 40 from 27. 127 for four. It's a five off the first two deliveries of the 17th over. First being sent down by the Cumbria skipper. Just eased away into the offside by Lamb for a single. 128 for four. Comes bouncing again, balls. And Bannon comes down the pitch and hits it back over his head. Heading towards the churchyard again. Upsetting a few squirrels in those trees, perhaps. Another big hit for six. Needs someone to go and fetch the ball again. 134 for four. Behind the moves to 23. There's a gentleman still on the, you know, the, the benches, peering over the, the wall. Oh, and he's got the ball as well. Terrific effort, good teamwork. I think somebody must be in there. Maybe someone's pos positioned permanently inside the churchyard. <laughs> Their job is to is to spot the ball when it comes hurtling in their direction. Play back down the pitch by Barnum from the left arm spinner. Stopped it off his own bowling, no run. So one, three, four for four. Final delivery of the 17th over. The back foot and worked into the offside for one. Keeps a strike as well. So 17 overs gone, 135 for four. A reminder for you, Cumbria winning the toss and bowling first. Support is waiting the thick end of four hours for some live cricket. Bring your own chair type of day. Flip flops and shorts. Show you wear your cap. Right, 18th over. Here's Glenn Denning to continue. Takes a single ban. 25 from 25 deliveries as well now for, for Josh Bahanam. So 136 for four. Sixty-four run partnership. Dinning bowling. <laughs> Again, Lamb looking to try and get into a position to to ramp it. He's played that shot quite a few times to success as well. Fine leg third man are inside the circle, so he's got that option of trying to find the boundary behind the keeper. With that little scoop or ramp. Popular shot for Danny Lamb. Glendinning balls again. It's it back down from where it came from and it's gone for four uh, towards the um, boundary 
at uh, long off. It'll dance down the pitch and this uh, flurry of the bat takes Lamb to 45, so edging towards a half century here. Score moves on to 140 for four. Glendinning in, balls again. Can Lamb takes him on and whacks the ball out through a deep mid wicket and a wide long on, perhaps four more for Lamb. 49 to him now. 144 for four. 72 run partnership between Danny Lamb and Josh Bohannon. Six four for Lamb. Two balls left of Glendinning's fourth over. And that's pulled away through mid-wicket for a single. And Lamb gets to his 50 with that. Nicely played. Danny Lamb enjoying a good partnership with Josh Bohannon. He's 50 not out. 32 deliveries. Half an hour's batting. Six fours and two sixes. Seventy three run partnership as well between Lamb and Bohannon. Glenn Dinning balls again, cut away. Cut well out towards the boundary, cut for four, in fact. Nice looking shot. Four runs to end the over. Bohannon slicing the ball away to deep backward point into the uh, the boundary. A couple of uh, supporters, again, playing ball boy. One, four, nine for four. 18 overs gone. <laughs> 77 run partnership between Josh Bohannon and Danny Lamb. 18 overs gone. 149 for four. Enjoyed a good game here against Sussex last year. Danny Lamb. Got Lancashire's Royal London one day cup fixture here against Sussex. It's against Essex on Tuesday. Goes again, Lamp. Might be one shot too many this time. It is. It's caught by the Cumbria captain. On the long off boundary. And Lamb departs, but a very good 50. Five wickets down now. 149 for five. And Lamb has gone for 50. 33 deliveries. Six fours and two sixes. 77 run partnership. So George Bell. Here's the new batter coming out for Lancashire. Made his Lancashire debut this season in a T20 fixture at Blackpool. So got Keaton Jennings to come, Lancashire captain, but he's uh, happy to give one or two of the other guys a chance to bat.
150 up for Lancashire. Bell off the mark straight away. So Bannon on strike. And it's Sterling in and bowling. Bannon takes one, pushed out towards deep point. Moves on to 30, so one five, one for five. Use of the feet from behind him. Crunch of the ball back beyond the bowler. And gets four runs. Who's the 34 not out? One five six for five. One ball left of the 19th over. Sterling balls. for Josh Bannon who keeps the strike. Perfect day to bring a little picnic, isn't it? Bring a book, watch a bit of cricket, have a beer, do a crossword, a little, little chat, chill out and wait to have a go. Plenty of food options around the ground as well. Bring your own, of course. A cool bag full of refreshments and supplies. So you take advantage of the, the van serving food and drink. If you're watching on and fancy a trip to Seb, but Tuesday here in Sussex, I hope the weather's like this. <laughs> It's simple in and bowling. That's off the back foot by Bahannon. Moves to 36, 1 5, 8 for 5. We're in the 20th over of 22. his ball away off the pads through the onside little dance down the pitch and comes back for for two oh just a single sorry to bell that so one five nine for five this time it's Bannon's turn to kind of wrap the ball over his shoulder down towards the boundary Gets four as well for it. Over the keeper's left shoulder, down towards the boundary. In came the dive, but the ball crashing into the rope. Takes Bannon to 40. 163 for five now. Certainly giving Lancashire's batters here a chance to get bat on ball. Of course, play the, against the uh, the white ball and get themselves ready for Tuesday. Oh, this is Bell manufacturing a shot. Bell moves on to five. Scott moves on to 166 for five. Final delivery of the 20th over. Oh, that's squashed down towards third man. Bell comes back for two again. 
So 168 for five, 20 overs gone, two remain. Two standout partnerships of the match for Lancashire. At the top there, Paulson and Wells, and then Bannon and Lamp, 77. Little cameo partnership here at the back end of the innings. What will Cumbria be set? The minute, 168 for five with 12 deliveries left. Swing and a miss from Bahanam. Sterling starts his fourth over. From Carlisle, Josh Sterling. Bowling to Bahanam. That's heaved away for four runs. 172 for five. Up and over, extra cover out towards the boundary. 45, Josh Bannon now. He already had one half century in the innings, which was Danny Lamb. And Bannon with a chance to make it a second. Yeah, I'll go back for two. Forty seven to Bahana now, one seventy four for five. right across his stumps and tries to work the ball to the leg side. Two balls left of the over. Again, a ball pushed wide by Sterling. Behind him. Works it to the leg side, comes back for two. He's been busy, Glenn Dinning in the field today. The ball seem to have followed him around. Bannon on 49, 176 for five. This will be a 50 for Bannon. Cut through the offside for one. Second 50 of the uh, of the match. He's in some form, Josh Bannon at the minute. Continuing here at Sebba School today, 50 not out, 38 deliveries, four fours and a six. Not too much place for shade around the ground, but well positioned tree does help, doesn't it? One or two supporters on that little banking there in the shade, nice little spot. Regan Jackson to uh, send down the final over of the innings. He only bowled one, I think, and it was a pretty expensive one. Yeah, one over for 19 a little earlier on. But back into the attack for the final over of the innings. So 177 for five. And balls and swatted past the bowler. One seventy eight for five. Bahana moves on to fifty one.
A swing and a miss from George Bell. Through to uh, Finley Richardson, the keeper. So just one off the first two deliveries. Bell on seven. Regan Jackson went for 19 in his one and only over so far. Good start here for him though in and bowling over the wicket and Bell just trying to scoop it over the keeper fails to make any contact with the ball so another dot ball so halfway through the final over just the one run added so far good stuff from Regan Jackson where's Bell looking here Seven not out. Waits for Jackson in and balls. Oh, it's a big top edge. Keepers underneath it. And takes the catch. And Bell departs for seven. Lancashire lose their six wicket. Reward for Regan Jackson, who's returned well after an expensive over a little earlier on. Plenty of height on that. And here comes the Lancashire captain, Keaton Jennings, for the uh, final two balls left. Little jig, the Jennings jig, before he comes out and has a bat. Been given the captaincy because of the injury to Dane Villas, which has uh, hampered him over the course of the last couple of weeks. He missed the game on against Kent at Emirates Old Trafford last week with a with the finger injury, and he was unable to take to the field with the gloves in the second innings of the match against Northampton during the week before. So, looking at a couple of weeks away, I think for Dane Villas or Keaton Jennings. Drafted in as captain for the Royal London One Day Cup. He's taking guard from umpire Phil Mustard. They'd have played with each other. Keaton Jennings and Phil Mustard at Durham. Former teammates, I'm sure. OK, two balls to go. Jackson to Jennings. Jennings drives down the ground for... Well, for two. <laughs> One eighty for six now. Final ball for Lancashire. Jennings on strike. Jackson in and balls. Goes for a big hit, Jennings. Out towards the leg side, and he'll get six for it. Ends with a six, halfway up the hill, up towards the pavilion, where the Lancashire players are. And that completes the 22 overs, so 186 for six from 20, from 22. So 187 will win it. Jennings, eight from two balls faced. Josh Barnum, 51 not out. And that half century for Danny Lamb. Of course, the whole thing set up by Balderson and Wells at the top there. Balderson making 28, Wells 36. 64 runs added for that first wicket. But Josh Barnum unbeaten on 51. So 186 for six from 22 overs for Lancashire. So 187 will win it for Cumbria. Innings break, about 10 minutes break now before we see the Cumbria reply. And they've been set 187 from 22 overs to win.
Okay. I said, I'll be that bad. <laughs> so oh, no, I was just picking out the hand one. Come here. Right. Can Charlotte say hello to you? Because she hello. watches you on television. Oh, hello. <laughs> and Ailsa. Hello. Yeah? Are I you told you we'd see Scotty, didn't I? Yeah? Are you enjoying your day? Yeah. Nice. You're going to tell him who you're supporting? Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> well, why not? <laughs>
Well, welcome back to our coverage live from Seb School of Cumbria against Lancashire in the uh, showcase fixture, a repeat of last year's game, which Lancashire uh, won. This is the fourth time these two teams have met. Lancashire have won the previous three fixtures between these two sides. And Cumbria to win have been set 187. We're going to see um, Jack Blatherwick to open up the bowling from the Powell end of the ground in glorious sunshine. It's been an absolutely beautiful afternoon after a drizzly rainy start. Here's Blatherwick over the wicket in bowling. And JJ Fielding on strike. Correction, it's uh, Williams on strike. That's pushed towards mid-off and there's no run. Scott Reed and Paul Edwards alongside me for the start of the Cumbria reply. Um, Paul, lovely to to have you on commentary for the second half of the match. What did you make of the the Lancashire innings? Well, my my pleasure to to join you, uh, Scott. I thought that uh, they did rather well, uh, Cumbria. But anyway, by the way, by the way, to Williams. That's eased away. Backward of square on the offside, and Cumbria get their innings up and running. One without loss. Uh, I think possibly a particular. Um, accolade for for Matthew Siddle, who, who plays for Cockermouth, mm -hmm. currently second in the Cumbrian Cricket League. He took 14 wickets quite recently against Cambridgeshire, um, and did really well. Um, and is one of the most highly regarded bowlers in the Cumbrian League. Yeah, two for 24 from five overs for Siddle. Blatherwick in to uh, Waterstone. That's Squares him up a little. Ball just deflects away. And this one moves on to two without loss. I think the other t two other people that perhaps we should thank are the umpires, uh, Graham Lloyd and Phil Mustard, for ensuring that the game takes place. Because it was um, there are some d damp areas at the bowler's end at the Cockermouth. Uh, sorry, at the M's end. Blatherwick bowls, and that's played out to point. They won't get a single there. Very well fielded, and no, no single there. And the Cumbria two for naught after four balls of their of their innings. But they've got time to uh, develop. They've got 22 overs, and 185 in 22 overs is very competitive score but I think if you you'd offered that to Cumbria they might have taken it <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what you think I reckon probably so Blatherwick in and balls oh that's a sharp delivery bit of pace and bounce and through to George Lavelle and there's no run so one ball left of the, f of, the f of the first over of the most important thing is that we've got some cricket <laughs> because oh, it looked absolutely. it looked a bit unlikely this morning and that was a no ball Front foot, no ball, mm. and we got a free hit. Excellent. Okay, good spot. Front foot, no ball for Blatherwick. It's a free hit. So score moves on to to four without loss in this. A free hit for Williams, who's on strike, and he's pushed it four and outside the off stump and through to the keeper, and there is no run. Yeah, just to clarify on, mm. on the previous statement, it had rained for more or less 29 hours here. <laughs> um, and, and a lot of the time it was actually raining on me uh, I w as I walked around the place yesterday. And I thought we had very little chance. No, in fact, uh, yeah, I thought we had no chance whatsoever of playing uh, any cricket today. And I think it's terrific uh, work by the ground staff that's enabled us to do so. Blather it balls again. Punch to mid on where Hurt fields and there's no run. And I'm particularly pleased for all the spectators here. I'm not going to say that there are many hundreds, but there's certainly a few hundred that have turned up to watch this showcase fixture. And a lot of Cumbrian cricketers will have been looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And I'm particularly pleased, as I said, that, that Graham Lloyd and Phil Mustard having weighed in the balance the, the safety of the cricketers, which is paramount. And there was, a, as I say, a damp area where the, the bowlers uh, go into their uh, delivery stride. 
at the Evans end, but they managed to dry it out. And we've got 22. O we've got 44 overs cricket, which is 44 overs more than some of us thought we'd get. And I think that's grand, really. Yeah, and reward for the spectators who have, who have taken their uh, Sunday afternoon out to to come to Sedbergh School and watch watch the cricket. Liam Hurt from the Evans end of the ground and full and wide of our stump and through to Lavelle. A couple of slips in place for Lancashire. It isn't, of course, quite the tensest uh, occasion on which Graham Lloyd has umpired a Lancashire <laughs> match this season. He was, at f he was at finals day, which had its fraught moments, I thought. Yeah. But, uh, he was which, right in the middle of it, wasn't he? Which he probably remembered. No, I saw him at Cheltenham the, um, uh, the, the, a couple of days afterwards. Four without loss. Waterston on strike. Dab down towards third man. And they get through for a single. No, I, I, I said to him, you know, well, well done. It must have been OK. It must have been fairly interesting. And he said in his dual way, well, thank you very much. Yes, it was one of those, he said. I think I'm not, I'm not sure if there is a cricketing version of post-traumatic stress <laughs> disorder, but he was all right. <laughs> he was he was OK. He was, he was grand for Graham. Um, I think when you've been, actually, Scott, quite seriously, I think if you've umpired in those sort of situations, anything else is fairly straightforward. Williams on strike, five without loss, is hurt. That's pulled away towards the uh, leg side. Not many occasions in the history of cricket where you've got to call players back when they're already <laughs> celebrating, <laughs> dancing around on the outfield. And there's about 2,000 quid worth of fireworks going off. <laughs> it's uh, it was an interesting, interesting moment. Yeah, an in interesting moment for many inside Edge Baston on that occasion. But the, the, the sight of, of Graham Lloyd having to call the players back with singling an, a nil ball. It's muscled away, high upper ball, and out towards deep backward square leg. And that's uh, four runs, the first boundary of the... Cumbria reply. The score moves on to nine without loss. And this, of course, is, is a wonderful opportunity for these Cumbrian cricketers because this is the, their chance to measure themselves against professional players who you, I can guarantee you will not want to be beaten by a national county. But anyway, uh, Liam Hurt comes in and is cut away but just for a single by not for a single by Williams well fielded there by picked up there by Rob Jones and Cumbria are uh, nine for naught with one ball left in the second over of their allotted 22 and of course Keaton Jennings uh, for his first time this season as Lancashire skipper mm -hmm. And he's going to be captain for the rest of the Royal London Cup games. And be good. He's had plenty of captaincy experience before, but it'll be interesting to see how he goes. He's hurt completely over balls, and that's pushed back along the ground by Williams. And there is no run. But, uh, it's the end of the second over, so nine without loss. Williams five. Waterston on two. There is the Lancashire captain, Keaton Jennings. Great chance for him, isn't it? He had to skip of the team. Wish Dane uh, Villas uh, a speedy recovery. But a great opportunity for Keaton Jennings. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And he and he's going to have the lead. He's going to have the captaincy um, injury um, permitting for eight games mm -hmm. in the in the Royal London Cup, and he's going to be leading a pretty powerful Lancashire side. Um, it's a development competition, as they say, for some counties. But for Keaton Jennings, it's a, uh, a great opportunity to lead Lancashire to a trophy. But we'll see. Here comes Blatherwick over the wicket and balls. That's flicked away off the pads. Down towards fine leg for four runs. Score moves on to 13 without loss. The game here at Sebba last year, Paul. Mm-hmm. It was in the warm-up fixture. We mm. had 
Oh, no, it was actually the game against Sussex, actually. We had Rob Jones fielding right in front of our media tent. We did, which is always a cabaret in itself, <laughs> isn't it, really? <laughs> and he, we started chatting to Rob as the game was going on because he was stood right in front of us. And Blatherwick balls again. That's a sharp delivery that beats Waterston through to the keeper. There's no run. So we, we got a little bit of a conversation going with Rob and the commentary team in the game last year against Sussex. This year, we're able to actually speak to one of the Lancashire players out there in the middle. Okay. So we've got George Bell, who's mic'd up. And I think, George, can you hear me now? I can hear you, yeah. Happy days. So we're going to have a little natter with George through the course of this over. Here's Blatherwick bowling. Go, Blad. Cut away for a single, 14 without loss. Take us out to the middle, George. What is yeah. that? How's, it, how's it all looking out there? It's looking, it's looking a picture, to be fair, Sedva. Um, the sun's finally come out, so that's nice. Happy days. Um, this morning was a bit touch and go, <laughs> but we're, uh, we're out there now, and it's a lovely spot, so pretty happy. You played here before or not? I played here for school, actually, yeah. Right. And a bit of Lanks age group stuff. Yeah. Um, but not for the first team, anyway. And it's Blatherwick. Balls again, swing and a miss from Williams and through to the keeper, no run. Down to 22 overs aside, but just pleased to have a game, George? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, there's a lot of people that have made the trip up, really, so it's good to see them all here and put a game on for them. So, um, definitely. And a few of the boys have played well. Um, just trying to get a run out before the 50 over as well, so uh, that's, all, that's all good from us. 14 without loss, but into the third over, got Blatherwick running in and bowling for Lancashire. Driven away into the offside, and there is um, no run. Happy with the score, 186 for six from 22? Yeah, I think very happy. Um, we got off to a bit of a flyer with Baldy and Wellesley, um, but then just stumbled a little. But then Lam Lammy and uh, Bowie played really well, so uh, happy to get up to 180, really. Uh, especially Lammy. Lammy really teed off, really, in the middle. Struck some nice six sixes, so uh, happy. Final ball of the over, Blatherwick in. And Williams will drive away into the offside. Good looking shot, nicely timed. Four runs to uh, end the third over. And score moves on to uh, 18 uh, without loss. Yeah, 50 for Lamb, 50 for Josh Barnum. Nice to watch those two, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, really good partnership from them. Um, the pitch is a little bit tacky, I'd say. So to get up to 180, it was a pretty good effort, and it was mainly down to them. So uh, very happy with that. Cool. Good to watch. OK, George, we'll come back to you through the course of the innings, if that's all right? Yeah, that's all right, yeah. Good stuff. Happy days, you say. Things you can do now, Paul. I know, it's wonderful. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful technology. I could watch people use it all day, to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you. I, 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 but I'll, I'll settle for quill, quill pen and parchment. <laughs> it's uh, bowling. Uh, steered away down towards third man. Uh, <laughs> for a single, 19 without loss, we're in the fourth over. I think one point that's worth making mm. is that Evan Williams, um, one of the Cumbria openers, this is very much his home ground. He's a Sedbra pupil and he's just finished his A-levels. So every day is a something of a salad day for him, <laughs> at, the, him at the moment. Now they're, they're out the way. Um, and of course he, he will, will have been coached by the remarkable Martin Spate, who is director of cricket here. It's hurt. Balls again, and Williams will flick it off his pads down towards fine leg and gets four more runs. So I think Evan Williams will be used to tacky wickets <laughs> down here. I've had many conversations with Martin, who's one of the most highly regarded school coaches, one of the most highly regarded coaches full stop in, in the country. And he said to me, he said, when it rains here, we just get on with it. Um, so, and you can imagine that they do, um, because if you stop when it rained, you'd be stopping a heck of a lot more stop than start up here. 
Hurt over the wicket, balls again. Williams will shuffle back into the crease, flicks the ball away. But it'd be nice for Williams on a on a pitch that he knows well um, to be playing for Cumbria. And uh, I think it was, Mar uh, yeah, I mean, you look at the cricketers that Martin Spade mm -hmm. has helped develop. Of course, many, many of them at Yorkshire, Harry Brook, George Hill, Matthew Revis. And when Harry Brook was in bad nick, he came, he, he, it was Martin Spake that he contacted because Martin knew his game inside out. 24 without loss, halfway through the fourth. Uh, Balls and Waterson, a little flirt with that. Porter just shapes away into the gloves of Lavelle and there's no run. And Martin went over and had a look at him in the nets where, where Harry lives and he sorted him out fairly quickly. This is no disparagement whatever mm -hmm. of Yorkshire's, Yorkshire's coaches. It's just that no one had watched Harry, Bro Harry Brook bat, no one ever will, <laughs> more than Spatey. And it's, it's one of the advantages, um, one of the many, many advantages, as people listening will be saying, of coming to a school like this. Hurt in, squeezed away along the ground through the offside. Balderson and Jones are after it. Bolton does get to it, they come back for two. Score moves on to 26 without loss. Spatey starts coaching here at around 7 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. After, as when term starts in September, uh, which thank God we can still say is the month after next for a few <laughs> hours, um, they, pupils here, boys and girls, will be booking his co their coaching slots as soon as more or less they've arrived. It's um, a remarkable cricketing education that they get here. Final ball of the fourth over. Just turns Waterson round a little. Well, squirts away down towards the boundary. It's going to be four more. Oh, blimey. Schoolboy arrow in the crowd there. He didn't factor in for the bounce off the rope. Absolutely. Oh, no. Ball all along the ground. Watch for the rope. Watch for the rope, here it comes, oh! <laughs> ah, dear me. Wasn't like that with Rommel in the desert, was it? <laughs> 30 without loss, he's OK. He's oh, right. grand. He's OK. Marvellous to see these people here, marvellous to see the enthusiasm of the spectators um, and to see them enjoying the cricket because there was a chance they weren't mm. going to get any. Absolutely. And this is just grand. You do like being a Seb, but don't you, Paul? You've noticed this, have you, Scott? <laughs> uh, good luck. How observant of you. Good Lord. Uh, Sherlock Holmes could learn nothing from you, could he? Here's George Balderson, right arm around the wicket balls. Down the leg side, signalled as a wide by umpire Phil Mustard. And the uh, score moves on to 31 without loss. Well, I, I tell you what I do like, Scott. Mm. I like a game that can accommodate the cauldron that was Edgbaston two weeks ago yesterday, mm -hmm. can accommodate Scarborough last week, and then can accommodate this. Bolton around the wicket. Beats the forward push of Williams. Terrific take by Lavelle. Leaping away to his right, and there's no run. The variety of yes. rounds on which professional cricket um, is played in England is one of its most appealing attractions for me, which is why I spend most of my summer travelling around trying to watch as much as I can. Balderson in and swatted away to mid-wicket, where our man on the mic, George Bell Fields. And there is... Um, no run, 31 without loss. You're in the game there, George, aren't you, in that position? You quite like it. We'll come back to George a little later on. Here's Balderson in. And that's heaved away through the offside for four runs. Slashed away up and over point. One of the things that you notice about young cricketers, particularly young batsmen, is their absolute fearlessness. Um, they really don't have 
Sorry, I'll break while you come. Balderson in, flicked away through the leg side. One bounce out towards deep mid wicket. Blatherwick does well. Picks up and throws in towards the um, bowler's end. They really don't have any qualms about going on the attack yeah. early on. And this is something that is T20 cricket particularly, yeah. I think, has, has encouraged um, that if a ball is there to be to be hit or if a ball is in the slot um, in white ball cricket, they will go for it. Mm. And, it and it's changing the game, and it's changing the red ball game too, by the way. Balderson in. He'll get through for a quick single pick-up and throw by Hurt towards the stumps at the bowler's end. Quick single there. Score moves on to 37 without loss. We've got one ball after the fifth. Down to the first five is the first power play. We'll have a little chat with George Bell at the end of this this over. Williams on 19. Waterson on 15. Balderson's final ball of his first over. 37 without loss. Just dropped away towards extra cover and there is no run. So that's his five overs gone. 37 without loss. George, you got this, mate? Yeah, I've got you. I've got you. Power play done. 37 on the board. Yeah. Decent start by them. What's your, what's your view? Yeah, they've got a few away, to be fair. Um, it's just about containing them through the middle now. Um, wickets will happen, um, and that'll help us, really. Morley coming on now, hopefully try and squeeze them for his five overs. Um, yeah, but we'll see. I think we need to take a few wickets. How big a part do you reckon spin will play in this? Um, I reckon a, a quite a big part, of, yeah. yeah. It's Because it's a little bit stoppy, it might hold a little bit. Right. So, that, obviously, get your catchers in, it might just pop one up. He's had a good couple of weeks, hasn't he, um, Jack Morley? He has. He has had a very good few weeks. Um, I love watching him bowl at Southport. I was watching the stream. I wasn't, on, wasn't there, unfortunately, but um, good to see him get a five for there. And he's been bowling very well. Gets his chance now. Thanks, George. We'll, we'll come back to you a little Perfect. later on. George Bell, our man on the mic, out in the middle. Here's um, Jack Morley, left arm around the wicket and bowling. Pushed away towards uh, extra cover and there is no run. Yeah, Jack Morley, Paul, has had an excellent few weeks, hasn't he? Well, he waited t two years between his first and second yeah. first-class match and he's played a couple on the spin now. He's in the bowling and that's swept and Bell will chase after it just to his right-hand side. And, and Four runs. And I don't want to be sombre uh, about this, I mean, who could be sombre at said, but to be perfectly honest with you, but we remember his his first game at Liverpool, mm -hmm. um, when which was watched by by nobody who wasn't mm -hmm. professionally involved in the game, and it's it's startling to remember um, what the COVID summer was like yeah. man, two years ago. Good God, it's Morley in the balls, cut off the back foot down towards uh, third man. For a single, score moves on to 46, I think, without loss. Yeah. But it, it was still terrific to see him and Tom Hartley mm -hmm. bowl out Derbyshire um, in that summer where Lancashire ha well, had players taken for, for two England squads, <laughs> both of them, as it were, bubbled. Um, <laughs> both of them bubble-wrapped, but they, they put out a heck of a side. Yep. Morley, the... Uh, into the attack for the for the first time this afternoon. Bit good competition this for him. You, you expect him to play pretty much every game. Williams trying to work it to the leg side, but there's no run. Well, I would think. I would. I would think he's think pretty, so, yeah. pretty much yeah. inked in. And and he's certainly very. Uh, George is absolutely right. He bowled very well at uh, at Southport. Towards his way back in again. Single this time for, for Williams. Oh no, they decide against it. Oh, they actually they do, they do get the one run. There was a slight bit of hesitation and it was a, a misfield. And after a little bit of a yes, no, yes, no, they do agree that there was a single there. And Williams moves on to 20, brings 
Waterston back on strike. Final ball of the six over coming up. Here's Morley in. Eased off the back foot behind square. And there is uh, no run. End of the over. Uh, six gone. 43 without loss, Cumbria. Target to win the match of 100. And uh, 87. And we've seen two overs from Blatherwick, two from Hurt. One from Balderson, one from Morley. And the, uh, the start's a good one. Williams 20 and Waterson on 20. Six overs in, 43 without loss. I think it's also worth remembering um, that one or two Cumbria, play Cumbria first choice players are not actually available because <laughs> they can't get time off work for both this and for the, um, na uh, the National Counties knockout game, mm -hmm. which they're playing, I think, next week or, or the week after against Oxfordshire at Great and Little Tew. That sounds absolutely magnificent. Where on earth is that? This is looped away into the onside. Will Lavelle get to it? He does. First wicket to fall off the bowling of George Bolson. Williams just trying to scoop in the ball out to the onside. And Lavelle did ever so well to make up the ground. Puts in the dive and takes the catch. And Cumbria lose their first wicket. 43 for one at uh, the start of the seventh over. I think that might be an example of the the, the wicket getting tacky, mm -hmm. actually, um, and stop stopping just it dug in, stops just a little bit, on, um, and uh, the, he, yeah, and a mm. fraction top it, top edge, I think, and George De George. George De Bell nearly. No, I, doubt, I doubt it. George Lavelle puts the puts the dive in. Um, can't quite remember the last time I saw George De Bell put the dive in, but <laughs> he's a cricket writer that some people may know, and God knows how he's managed to <laughs> arrive at arrive at Sedbur. But there we there we go. This is a place of extraordinary coincidences. <laughs> no, a Great and Little Two is in yes, Oxford. Yes, that? It's in Oxfordshire. Oh, tremendous! It, it's in Oxfordshire. Great and Little Two. I don't think. I think middle two is unavailable, <laughs> but uh, they're playing great and little two. And um, always gr great to watch some, some of this National Counties cricket because one or two very fine cricketers mm. um, end up with professional careers mm -hmm. as a, from, from playing National Counties cricket. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's a young Cumbria team, plenty of teenagers in this team. It's Balderson, and that's driven firmly away through uh, the offside for a single. First ball face, I think it's JJ Fielding. JJ Fielding, I think. The uh, new batter, it is. So a run straight away. Score moves on to 44 for, for one. And JJ Fielding, one of a few in this team that. Uh, been with Lancashire, have played age group cricket for Lancashire. Defended by Waterson for no run. Both JJ and Ben Walton um, have played second team, a fair amount of second team cricket. And of course, I know them both both well. Um, people will wonder how Southport hasn't quite been mentioned so far. You've done well, actually, yeah. No, well, I, I, I do my best for you, Scott, <laughs> mate. But um, JJ Fielding uh, plays for Southport and Birkdale in the Liverpool competition. Here's Balderson in, that's cut down to third man. Just for a single for Waterson, 45 for one. As does Ben Walkden, who plays for Newton the Willows. Both, both currently in the, both currently in the Premier League. Um, and where of course a number of Lancashire cricketers have um, learned or improved, developed their cricket on mm -hmm. drier wickets that are a little bit nearer to the sort of services they might encounter in the first class game. Balderson to, to fielding that just comes back into him, shaping to play it to the leg side. Ball does deflect uh, into the offside, no run. I think I'm right in saying that JJ got 61 yesterday, something like that, against Rainhill in a game that was eventually drawn. And while we were up here, soaked to the skin. <laughs> Balderson in, that's shoveled away off the hip. 
Uh, for four runs, in fact, in front of square on that leg side. Nice looking shot. Pivots onto the back foot. Pulls the ball away. Four runs to end the over. And it's 49 for one after, after seven. This is a good start. Mm. This is an excellent start. Seven and over. OK, five of those overs are power play. Um, but they, they're they doing um, made respectable fist of nearly the first third of their innings. Um, and I've got a good platform. And of course, last year, if I'm right, I think Oxfordshire beat Sussex in this game and this these showcase matches and Devon beat Somerset. Morley left arm round the wicket. Mm. Delivery gets walked onto the front foot. A little bit of turn there away from uh, Waterson. And uh, there is no run. Yeah, there are a couple of shocks, weren't it, last year mm. in this, in this pre-one-day cup warm-up games? So it looks to cut the ball with a plane of miss. Through yeah. to the keeper. Yes, there were. Um, but uh, the, the, they were, in a sense, a throwback to the early days of the Gillette Cup when all these counties would get a game against first cl first class opposition or it would get a game against first class opposition down comes Waterson and fighting a bit fuller from Morley digs the ball out squirts away into the offside up comes Lavelle and there's no run halfway through the eighth Morley again to Waterson and hit back down the pitch, gathered by Morley off his own bowling. Again, there's no run. What Morley is getting, of course, is responsibility. It's not a case as if there's somebody else who can come in. Uh, the the burden of being the frontline spinner is on him now. Um, Creeps his way in and bowls to Waterson, who goes back and cuts the ball. Cuts it nicely. And for four runs. Lovely shot off the back foot. Cut to deep back will point for four good looking shot uh, yes it was and we probably should have made more of Waterston's batting because he's holding it together very nicely for for Cumbria <coughs> yeah, 25 from 22 for uh, Nathan Waterston final ball of the eighth worked out towards the leg side but for no run so 53 for one eight overs gone Target of 187 to win. This is a good start by Cumbria. Set up beautifully here by Nathan Waterson, who uh, is anchoring the innings. He's got uh, JJ Fielding alongside him on beat number five. 53 for one after eight. Yeah. Just on Morley, Paul, obviously mm. with, with Hartley and with Parkinson, mm. uh, with the originals in the 100. Mm -hmm. As you say, he, he, he will be the, the frontline spinner for Lancashire in the One Day Cup. and. I guess that, that that's a great challenge for him, and one I'm sure he'll, he'll relish. A great kind of opportunity to, to to be the main man. It is, and it's a it's a question of responsibility. I'll get back to it in a moment when uh, when Bolston's bowled this ball. Yeah, start of the ninth this time. Oh, it's just sliced away by Fielding, partially stopped by Jones at backward point. Just take a bit of pace off the ball, but they get through for a single fifty. Four for one. I remember speaking to, to Lancashire's former director of cricket, Mike Watkinson, when a, a young player had been sent out to a league club where I didn't necessarily expect him to go. And I was talking to Mike about this, and he said, well, he's going to, he's going to this club as the professional. It will be his responsibility to score most of the runs and take some of the wickets. Balderson in. Watterson pivots back and pulls the ball behind square and jogs through for one. 55 for one. And that sense of trusting young players has only increased, I think. And that sense of putting them into tough situations. Mm. I mean, let, sorry, I'm not trying to um, belittle uh, Jack Morley. He's an exceptionally fine professional cricketer, and I hope he does really well. But this is a be an important eight games for him. Around the wicket, Balderson to, to Fielding defends from the crease. Uh, Rob Jones feels no run. Just does. Mm -hmm. um, a few years ago, they were important days for Rob Jones when he was <laughs> playing 
playing against Middlesex and um, Stephen Finn was passing frank comments on his uh, batting technique to Old Trafford. Balderson in, oh, Fielding looks to cut and bottom edge of the ball past the stumps down to the keeper. And uh, Rob took these comments, um, possibly not in quite in the spirit they were meant, <laughs> um, but I think we'll all remember Rob making his first century for, for Lancashire and the, the celebrations that, um, that followed. And all young cricketers uh, have to meet these challenges. Balderson in, that's muscled out through the onside. It could well be four. By the way, chasing after it. It is four. Fielding moves into double figures with that. It's up to 10. 59 for one. The other thing, of course, is that um, both the Lancashire are very pleased that both Fielding and Walkden were registered by Cumbria because it gives them more opportunities mm -hmm. to play national counties cricket where they might not always get opportunities with Lancashire. I know Fielding is particularly highly regarded at Old Trafford. That's a glorious shot. That's four runs for Fielding. Just a little dance down the pitch to the bowler. Plays a lovely lofted drive. He's a good player. That's, that's one of the reasons why he's very highly regarded at Old Trafford. <laughs> and uh, the word has been made flesh and dwelt amongst us. <laughs> Marvellous. Um, but f f moves on to 14 off only eight balls. Um, and 63 for one after nine. This is a good show. Yeah, 124 more runs to win the match for for Cumbria live from Seba school on Lanx TV and commentary via the BBC Sport website and the app as well with, um, with Cumbria playing Lancashire I'm not telling you which home fixture this is as a throw comes in towards the, the keepers and that's a sharp piece of work by George Bell got through for uh, for a single yeah on on the BBC 63 for one yeah. one ball into the tenth okay. 64 for one someone's complaining <laughs> the claim pointing out that we've not been that the side that's playing here has not been Cumberland for years but I think I'm right in saying that Cumberland and Westmoreland are just about to be revived <laughs> this is worked away um, by fielding down towards short fine leg throw comes in towards the bowler's end again they're through for a sharp single 65 for one so we're in something of a quandary here Scott in that not only do we not know whose home game it is but we're not actually <laughs> sure who Lancashire are playing otherwise everything's going grand um, <laughs> 65 for one, Morley balls and Waterson goes back and tries to work it down to backwards point and there's no run. I'll call it Cumbria and that should satisfy the, do, the, yeah. the gentleman who actually was, was exceptionally helpful to me when I was doing a little bit of research for indeed I do do it occasionally and asking about some of the players. This is swept to, uh, to Blatherwick at deep backwards square leg. 66 for one. Yes, Cumbria, not Cumberland. Used to be called Cumberland, but oh. changed to Cumbria. Very much Cumberland, and it used to be very much Cumberland and, and Westmoreland as uh, distinct counties. And when I had holidays in the Lake District years and years ago. Left arm over the wicket to Fielding. It'll shuffle forward, then just eases the ball away into the offside. Balderson's at cover, no run. Yeah. We are, of course, just to complicate things, as my deputy editor, Wisden, would delight in insisting in a Yorkshire Dales National Park. Oh, don't you know, that's a complete curveball, that now, isn't it? No, well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Pulled away way through mid-wicket for a single. Is, is there a county that's not involved here, you know? <laughs> With Cumbria, Cumberland, Yorkshire, Lanky. <laughs> well, exactly. <laughs> it's all part of life's rich pattern. Anyway, we're in Sedba. Yes. And if you... I think I think there's other things that I'd like to uh, 
I'm going to consider other than the names of the counties, to be perfectly honest. Though that is important, it does matter to these to these people because there is, uh, fortunately, English cricket does have a great sense uh, when you pl when you're seeing a county that very often you're seeing a lot of players who were either born or learned their cricket mm. in that county, and without being uh, in any sense snide about it, that isn't always the case in other sports, but it still is in English cricket, and I think it's something that Lancashire pride themselves on, as do many, many other counties. I know, for example, that Sussex, for example, who are struggling at the moment, but an awful lot of their players mm -hmm. were born or raised in the county. We see Luke Wells for the first time this afternoon. And Fielding will just flip that one away off his hip down towards fine leg. Morley catches up with it. And they come back for two. So the well, I say leg spin, he's been he's been he's been doing a bit of both this this season. Leg yeah. spin and off spin, Luke Wells. He has a little tinker. He's yes. uh, he's 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 I, I blame him Liam Livingston to be perfectly honest. But no. Very in and bowling. And that's uh, hit through the offside. Get through for a single. And even though I say that Morley is will be the lead spinner in the Royal London Cup, mm -hmm. I think Luke Wells's cricket this year has been enormously impressive. Yeah. He's certainly bought into Lancashire and he's one of those players who probably benefited. Well, no, never mind. Probably, absolutely, certainly benefited. Yeah, without from the move yep. uh, from the, uh, um, from Sussex. I, I'll be honest with you, Paul. I still can't believe that Sussex let him go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, yeah. to Lancashire's enormous benefit. Let's work back down the pitch by uh, Waterson. Exactly. Oh, it's out. Exactly. It's caught and balled. Yeah, it's just squirted the ball back towards Wells, who takes the catch in mm -hmm. the most muted celebration possible. Um, he's actually gone, Waterson, for a very good 28. But caught and ball by Wells, just a little leading edge back down the pitch. Oh, there he is. He slumps on his bat. He's gutted. Yeah. And once again, while you were at the point where you were saying that you couldn't believe that um, Sussex let Luke Wells go, he takes a wicket. <laughs> no, no, you can't believe Sussex let him go, and neither can about three or four hundred people in Hove, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, he. But I think he has developed as a cricketer uh, late in, relatively late mm -hmm. in his career from the move to Lancashire. And sometimes the move is right mm -hmm. for the move is right for players. And in a way, though it's a different stage of his career, without being particularly Lancastrian in one's sympathies here, um, the same could be said for Stephen Mullaney mm. at, at Nottinghamshire. It doesn't always have mean that you come to Lancashire. It sometimes can be useful to, le to, to leave the county. Uh, no one in Lancashire will agree with that, but mind. <laughs> 70 for two. And uh, a second wicket to fall, and it's Waterson caught and ball by Wells. 28 of 28, four falls. He batted nicely. It's helped Cumbria make a very solid start to this run chase. 187 to win the match. First wicket for Luke Wells. Then walked a new batter, slip in place. Oh, and that just uh, goes beyond the reach of Jennings at slip. Morley will catch up with it. And they've come back for two. Score moves on to 72 for two. And now it's just getting a little bit more tricky for Cumbria, I think. Uh, probably over the last couple of overs. The run rate is, the asking rate is climbing. And they've got a new batsman at the crease. And Luke Wells bowls. And that's played out to point by Walkden, no run. And one ball left. And then they're halfway through their 22 over mm. allocation, or allotment, I would say. Um, and Wells. Bowls to Walkden and it's played back down the pitch. Luke Wells' height is never or rarely commented on as a spinner, mm -hmm. but he gets extra bounce and it's a different angle 
that that uh, you know when you think the contrast between himself and Matt Parkinson, mm -hmm. um, it's very noticeable. I think the the difference in flight mm -hmm. that batsmen have got to adjust to. Now sometimes um, he gets. Um, you know, professional batsmen in other counties will take him take him out for a walk, but he also gets his uh, he's got a fair share of his wickets in county cricket. We remember him taking, I think, taking three. Right? Somerset last year, mm. he's bowling yep. bowled well um, in both red and white ball cricket. Bowled well for being valued by Lancashire in a way that <laughs> perhaps he wasn't towards the end of his career at Sussex. So halfway stage and 72 for two. Let's head back outside and hear from our man on the mic, George Bell. Halfway point, George, what do you reckon? Um, much happier now. A couple of wickets um, and now it's up at about 10, so we're in a good position here. Yeah, it was a, it was a couple of quick wickets. You can change these things pretty quickly, can't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, the spinners have come into it and it's a little bit tacky, as I've said, and they've just chipped a couple up there, so... I'm um, pretty happy with that. With Bladowick returning from the Evans end this time. Catch that. Cries of catch from George Bell up and over Keaton Jennings, a skipper. And four runs up towards the long off boundary. The, the, the wicket that we saw of Williams, was, the, the, was that an example of that tacky pitch that you kind of referred to, you think? Um, I think so, yeah. It's just popped on him and hit, yeah. the, like, hit the splice back to Spizzer. Very good catch, actually. So, uh, yeah, just sometimes a little bit of poppy. Spizzer, you're going to have to explain that one to me, mate. Oh, uh, yeah, that's his, uh, that's his nickname. It's a bit of a, yeah. Uh, his Blatherwick around, around the wicket beats <laughs> beats fielding and through to the keeper. There's no, is this polite or should we just wrap this up straight no, away? No, no, is this, this, is, a uh, this, this is, is all right, is it? So it's actually, yeah. it's actually come from Chris Bembo, the right. academy director. Yeah. Um, one day, because obviously his name's Lavelle, yeah. so it's similar to Spirit Lavelle, like Lavelle, yeah. So instead of like spirit level, spiz for sure. <laughs> right. I think I was following what you were saying, George. Yeah. 76. It's hard to follow, but it's there. Nothing <laughs> with balls and fielding pulls the ball away to deep backward square leg, and they get one run. See, and here's me thinking that cricketers in the main just came up with very simple nicknames. Yeah. Well, usually it's just a Y on the end of it. Yeah, exactly. Your name, but. Um, belly, with him, it's just a little bit different. Are you belly, for example? I am belly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They need um, to be a bit more creative with you, George. Well, exactly. I think there's a few, but I probably couldn't say it on the live stream, to be honest with you. <laughs> so uh, let's leave them alone. I'll be honest with you, I was about to mute you, then I was going to be concerned. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll come back to you in a bit, mate. Thank you. Cheers. 77 for two. Spizzer. Spizzer? <laughs> There's <laughs> Blatherwick in a ball into to Walkton. Just dropped away into the offside. They think of one, but Jones comes up. That's excellent work from Jones. Great piece of fielding. Pick up and throw. Absolutely hammered into the stumps, that too. Yeah. Good work from Rob Jones. Again, it's, it's another example of the amount of practice that these guys um, have to go through. And, the, and it's an obvious point to make about, sorry, so why am I making it, about the quality of the fielding and the quality of the catching. But again, it's something that, that T20 cricket has fostered and um, exacerbated. Anyway. Blatherwick balls slip in place. Walked in the new batter. Steers it out towards deep backward point. Get through for a single, 78 for two. One ball left of the of the twelfth. Got twenty-two overs. This has been reduced down to another player there on screen who will have a big part to play. You would think through the course of the one-day competition, Jack Blatherwick. Opportunities are difficult. It's a strong bowling unit that uh, Lancashire have gotten. This will be a great chance for him over the next few weeks. It's pulled by fielding out towards. Deep mid wicket. Good stop from Wells on the boundary. And just the one added. 12 overs gone. 79 for two at the end of 12. Good work in the deep by Luke Wells. 
and, and Luke Wells isn't. I mean, he would. I don't say admit, but Luke Wells isn't one of the sort of na or, or the natural athletes um, in the Lancashire side that you would immediately say, oh, he's going to be a su uh, outstanding fielder. But he is excellent. You know, that was just an, another example of the type of fielding that the coaches insist on yep. in in short form cricket. Uh, well, in, in any form of cricket uh, now, and it's noticeable if you come across a side that that is carrying someone. But mm -hmm. it's it's something that we're just so used to seeing, isn't it? It yeah. almost looks r routine now. Mm. It's a good back foot cut away from Jones down towards the boundary. Nicely scooped up, and they come back for two. 81 for two at the start of the 13th over. Just being put under a little bit of, as I say, just being put under a little bit of pressure. 106 off 59 balls. It's Wells to fielding. Oh, that's, that's a six. handsome looking shot. Clears Bell. Clears the PA box. Bell's off after it. Exactly. I think that. Not far off the rugby pitch, no. to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, no, he's got it back. It's a big hit for six. Fielding moves on to 32. Retrieved by George of the unmentionable nicknames. <laughs> 87 for two. JJ Fielding, 32 from 19. Luke Wells around the wicket. Carved away through the offside. Should just be a single and is. 88 for two, halfway through the 13th. <laughs> In a way, this, of course, is a... a <laughs> even to see um, Cumbria doing well mm. has its advantages for Lancashire because it's JJ Fielding who's, <laughs> who's playing the major inning. It's one of their guy, one of their guys. In addition to, sorry, in addition to Waterston and Williams, who are help, who are helping Cumbria. Do, do decently. The back foot and cut away by Walton. Jogs through for one. Moves up to four. 89 for two. And Wells bowling his uh, second over. One for 14. Oh, that's a glorious shot up and over extra cover. One bounce and out towards the boundary. Deserves to reach it for four. Oh, go on. Oh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't reach the rope. It was such a good looking shot. He deserved four for it. It tends to plug in that far corner, doesn't it? There was one that one in um, Lancashire's innings that did. But, but then 35 off 21 for fielding and 91 for two. One ball left in the 13th over. Wells bowls, and that's cut but straight, I think, to Rob Jones, who is making a thing of doing the backward point job <laughs> um, at uh, the Jonty Rhodes position, which no doubt he'll, he'll be slightly flattered by, but then he'll think, yes, it probably suits me. I think that's what I should be doing, <laughs> where I should be. Some comparison, though. He's a terrific... He, yeah, it's great with Rob. He's one of the most engaging cricketers on, on the circuit of any county. Um, knows how fortunate he is to be a professional cricketer and is determined to make the, the most of it. 90, 91 for two. Yep, 13 gone. It's like Blatherwick to continue, yeah. So he's bowled three overs for 20. Bowled a couple from the Powell end, and this is his second from the... Evans, end of the ground. He's over the wicket to Walton. He just nips back and ball deflects away into the offside for no run. The ends of the grounds here, Paul. Mm -hmm. Evans and Powell. Yeah. They are named after school houses here. Is that right? Yeah, named after school houses and were named. Uh, um, they were of names of great history. They were named all of three years ago, <laughs> when when I I went for I went for a um, a drink at the in the Dalesman with Martin Spate and the headmaster Dan Harrison, and I said to him, "What the what are the names called?" Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, "Actually, we don't know." I said, "Well, we better give them names, hadn't we?" <laughs> now, as, uh, he's rather wicked and Paul's to walk to that's 
cloth really into the offside for no run. As we speak, um, generations of old Sedbergians will be clotting the BBC <laughs> website and saying that, uh, oh, the names are called... I think it was called Town and Country. Right. Well, and as Martin Spate pointed out, well, the town's over there, and there's town over there, and there's country more or less <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so so they, they, do, they, do, they aren't actually the most revealing of names. But Blatherwick again, over the wicket and balls. Walked off the back foot, just steers it down towards the third man for a single, moves on to five, 92 for two. People say that the, the main set for town is over at the, at the Evans end and they are probably they probably right but you take my point I think the names of ends are that a, a county at grounds are extraordinarily unimaginative you know pavilion or city or something like that it's <laughs> you know how many pavilion ends are there for heaven's sake <laughs> um, at, at New Close I, I, I renamed it but I'm, I'm afraid I've got form here they had to put they said oh it's called the pavilion end I said no it's not and I called it the Carisbrook end <laughs> I thought, I thought that was had a bit more about it. <laughs> 92 for two. Bladwick around the wicket balls the fielding. It's worked out towards square leg for uh, a single. Moves on to 36 now. Score moves on to 93 for two. So do you make a habit then of just wandering around to cricket grounds, Paul, and renaming the ends? Is that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, one of the, it's one of these little little traits that uh, one, one of my many irritating habits. Um, but new close. What a, what a ground that is, um, by the way. Uh, in, on the Isle of Wight. You've never been there? No. Nope, you know, nope. It's absolutely wonderful. Hampshire are playing North Hants there in the Royal London Cup. Um, but I saw them play Nottinghamshire in 2019. Blatherwick over the wicket and bowls. Banged in short and left by Walton. Through to Lavelle. No run. Yeah, I just think names need to be particular to the grounds that they... Um, that to which they're attached. I think that you know, so, you know, the Radcliffe Road end and things like that at Trent Bridge. Mm -hmm. There's never a doubt. I don't know too many nursery ends apart from Lords. No. Uh, but but uh, well, I suppose the 14th over coming up. The fourth for Bladderwick. Walked in on strike. Swatted out through the onside for a single. And that completes the 14th over. 94 for two. Cumbria, Fielding on 36, Walkton on 5, 93 to win from this um, position. Two batters reasonably well set, certainly one is in JJ Fielding. And before I bore everyone witless with this, um, it should be pointed out that I haven't actually recommended to law, to MCC, that they change the name of the pavilion end to the Gubby Allen end or something like that. I think, I think I'll leave that one alone and, and I'll leave that subject alone for the rest of my... <laughs> media career <laughs> there's our match summary 93 off 48 that's the equation for Cumbria 94 for two the view from the back of our executive marquee where we're broadcasting from is uh, Liam Hurt into the attack it's chopped away into the offside by uh, Walkton and there is uh, no run and as I say it's getting towards uh, two runs a ball which is 12 runs and over and that tends to be when that where the professionals start to regard it as tough mm -hmm. and I'm not here um, uh, disparaging the efforts of JJ Fielding at all I think they're doing terrifically well but it will be a heck of a feat to get these runs now uh, balls lovely straight drive Bannon will chase after it he won't get to it though lovely shot for four throwing me down the ground by Walkden, he moves into double figures as well with that. And the score moves on to 98 for two. Yes, that's a lovely shot. Absolutely beautifully timed. And Ben Walkden is in, I think, decent form. Certainly scored a lot of runs for, for Newton Willows in the Liverpool competition this year, um, which is a, a good standard of club cricket. Otherwise, frankly, he wouldn't be playing in it. Um, 98 for two, here's Hurt, in and bowls. Flicked off the hip. To backward square leg for a single. 99 for two, walked and moves to 11. And they play so much white ball cricket now mm. that they won't they won't be put off. Having said that, they won't be put off by the, the challenge of 88 runs off 45, 45 balls. They've got wickets in hand. Cumbria are 
under pressure, but mm -hmm. they're, they're managing the pressure fairly well. The problem, of course, is if, if you've got two new batsmen at the crease, which is the, the classic um, problem in a run chase, and you have people who've got to go in and start scoring at 12 runs and over for almost from the start of their innings. Liam Hurt in and balls. Swatted away to mid-wicket, Bell fields, and there's no run. It's marvellous to think of the good things that have come out of even this 22-over game, mm -hmm. when something like four overs, four hours ago, we were going to. There was a chance we'd get nothing at all. Certainly, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm just actually funny. I've just brought up some of the results from elsewhere today, and there's been a few no results dotted around. The rain affecting really quite a lot of these games unfortunately that's cut out towards backward point there's no one or at least kind of duck with lewis methods being required to get games in mm. we have seen one one no result between nottinghamshire and norfolk and a few dls scores elsewhere but wins for somerset over cornwall by seven wickets derbyshire over shropshire by 236 Buckinghamshire beats Surrey by four wickets. Oh, my Lord. Last ball of the 15th coming up. Hurt is in and balls to fielding. That's pulled away. That'll be f potentially four more. Bannon's going to catch up with it. Yes, he does. And up towards that deep mid-wicket boundary. And they run two there in the end. They have, and that's brought up the 100 as well for Cumbria. 101 for two. After 15. Buckinghamshire beats Surrey by, by four wickets at High Wycombe. Yeah, I hope someone's looking after Alex Stewart. The <laughs> gaffer will be in shock. Uh, Lincolnshire beat Durham by five runs on the Duckworth Lewis Stern method. Game taking place at Grantham. Her uh, Worcestershire beat Herefordshire by four wickets. Berkshire beat Middlesex by six wickets. Essex beat Cambridgeshire by 55 runs. Sussex beat Oxfordshire by five wickets. And Gloucestershire beat Wiltshire by 218 runs. <laughs> just edge that one. <laughs> just, <laughs> just over the line. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> <laughs> nip and tuck towards the end. But, but, it, but isn't it great to think of the, uh, the cricketers who play nine national counties cricket mm -hmm. for whom this will be one of the great days in their career? W Wells is in a bowling. That's off the back foot by Walkden for a single I think actually that so we've, we've already heard from George Bell he's, he's, he's on the mic mm. out in the middle we're going to hear from a Lancashire supporter he's going to join us in a little while I think I think he d d I think he has a question for a player um, well obviously for George so um, we're yeah. going to hear from Luke a Lancashire fan we struggle to, a struggle to ask anyone else at this <laughs> stage <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a fair point yeah. <laughs> so I think Luke's got a question for George so it, I tell you, it's all very, it's all very interactive, isn't it? Yeah. Bringing the game to the to the people listening and watching. 102 for two. 85 off 41. I don't know if George is, n knows he's got a question coming his way from a Lancashire fan, but he'll soon find out. There's Luke Wells around the wicket, balls swatted out towards Blatherwick. Ooh. That may have taken a slightly awkward bounce, perhaps, for Blatherwick. I don't know. He looked a bit of a grimace on his face and slightly apologetic. It's four runs for fielding. He moves to 42. It's 106 for two. So 81 off 40. Chopped away to Balderson, there's no run. Still got eight wickets in hand, though. Still got, still got chances. Yeah, eight wickets yeah. in hand. As well. These players won't be scared of the challenge. In and balls, down and one, the Eagles fielding, swinging a miss, and through to the keeper, no run. So a single and a four, and a couple of dot balls. First four deliveries of this 16th over. JJ Fielding, 42 from 29. He'll, he's right in the thick of it, and he'll be sure loving every minute of it. Mm, absolutely. Wells, two fielding. Oh, that's just scooped up towards the leg side. Oh, that's a terrific catch. 
That's Rob Jones coming up from deep mid-wicket. It's the end of a really enterprising knot from JJ Fielding. And Jones takes a really good dive, diving catch forward, coming up from that deep mid-wicket boundary. It went high. It was dropping just in front of Jones, who stretched for it. Got his just, fingers on it. Just a bit too full, wasn't it? It meant that he had to sort of scoop it rather than than get a full uh, full pull shot. And time, and in a sense, timed it timed it too well, uh, which meant that Rob Jones could run in and and take an excellent catch. And uh, but that was a good innings by Fielding. Um, 42 off 30 balls, um, and he'll have done himself no harm at all by that innings. So 106 for three, one ball left of the 16th over. I think we can head, head back outside. George, <laughs> with a little smile on your face. Happy days, George, three down. That was a big, big wicket to get, wasn't it, for Lancashire? Yeah, very big wicket. I was just thinking that uh, JJ was going very, very well. Um, and <laughs> um, Sound effects yeah, from Blatherwick? Yeah, Blatherwick's just giving me a bit there. So. Uh, <laughs> We'll let that off. That's He's just let one go for four, so it's all right. Ask him, ask Blood the Wick about his fielding. See how that's yeah, going. He needs to work on it, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I better not miss one now. <laughs> <laughs> you put yourself under a bit of pressure, eh, mate? Yeah. I have, yeah, I have. Uh, 106 for three. Um, got Wells in from the uh, Evans end of the ground. And the Cumbria skipper's on strike, playing a miss and through to the keeper, and there's no runs. That's the end of the 16th. Um, obviously, we've had a game today, George. It looks like it's going, it's going Lancashire's way. How much you've enjoyed it? How much you're kind of looking forward to the next few weeks as well that are coming up? Um, yeah, really enjoyed today. Um, it's just given us a little bit of a taste for what it's going to be like for the next few months. Um, hopefully, get a few good opportunities, but we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, it's been brilliant today. Great place to play and uh, the boys have turned up so far so hopefully we can get over the line george we've got a lancashire fan luke who wants who's who, he's, he's going to ask you a question if that's all right mate yeah that's all good yeah go on luke hello luke fire away hello uh, george just interested to know that was obviously a cracking catch by jonesy um who do you think is the best fielder in the t as we'll say in the team today that's on the pitch um who do you reckon is the best out of the lot and he's hurt in a ball in that swatter by Walkden up towards mid on I'd, for uh, a single. I'd definitely say Jones is the best, without a doubt. He's uh, he's one of them where he could even get in the team as a, just for his field at the times, it's that good. Uh, but yeah, there's quite a few that are good as well. So we've got uh, Bowie's quite good, good as well. Um, and yeah, but Jones is definitely the standout. And I'd also like to say, like, Crofty as well. Obviously, he's not playing today, but mm. he's a jet fielder, a seriously fielder. Yeah, he's hurt in and bowling. And that's a flick down towards fine leg. That'll be four more. And the score moves on to 111 for three. Um, Luke's still on the line, I think, Luke. Um, what have you made of... Um, like I should this season, how much have you been watching and listening to the to the coverage? Yeah, I've been I've been following it quite closely, Scott, to be honest. Um just a shame really that they couldn't convert some of those draws early doors in the championship into wins because I think it'd be a bit more um spicy at the top of the table now. Um obviously finals day was just gutting, wasn't it? It was uh yeah. That balls asked defender by Walkden, there's no run. Yeah, you were there for that, weren't you, Luke? I was indeed, yes. I was um, I was on my way out of the back of the stand and then just heard no ball turn round and yeah, everyone was everyone was just stood with their head on their hands. Um there's a couple of Yorkshire fans near me that were that were starting to bite the nails. Um and then unfortunately obviously when the last ball was finally bowled, it was uh, <laughs> Yeah, I, I made a swift exit. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Uh, before you go, Luke, as uh, Hurt is in and balls and that's defended into the offside, they'll get through for a quick single. Score moves on to 112 for three. But that Lancashire shirt you're wearing, what, 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 year, what year would that be? 
I think someone will probably correct me, but yeah. I think it's probably 2006, 2007. Didn't like it, bit of vintage, loving it. <laughs> my my first, the first game I watched was 2006, I think. So I think it might be from that year. Crofty was playing, of course. Of course he was. Is, is, is it, <laughs> Luke, is it the same vintage as the taxi cabs in the picture behind you? <laughs> Do you like them, Paul? Oh, it's absolute style. <laughs> Cheers, Luke. Thanks for joining us. Here's Hurt in a balls. Hit back over the ball his head. That's going to be four more down the ground. Um, simple with a hit there for uh, for Cumbria. 115 for three. Um, George, would you, we'll, we'll, we'll so, just sign off with you. We're coming towards the end of the game, of course. 70 to, 72 to win off, off 32. Um, you mentioned kind of what's going to come for you potentially over the course of the next few weeks. I mean, there's a great prospect, isn't there, of, of playing quite a few games here. Yeah. Yeah, obviously this this uh, competition provides a lot of opportunities for the young players. So hopefully at some point I get a go. Um, but when I do, hopefully I can bring some results for the Red Rose. Let's cut oh. down towards back will point, and it's four runs. Just beats the fielder inside the inside the circle. I spoke to you at Blackpool, George, uh, after you made your Lancashire debut, and um, which must have been obviously a special moment for you and. How proud are you when you're wearing your Lancashire shirt there out in the middle? You've had a, obviously a great start to your career, international level with England at under-19 level, and now looking to try and force your way into the team, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I was very pleased with my debut at Blackpool. Obviously, it got rained out, so that was a bit good thing, but uh, I was happy with how I played. And then hopefully, if I get an opportunity in this competition, or even at the back end of the year, um, we'll just see. Cool. Hopefully, it can go well. Thanks, thanks, George. Great to get your insight out in the middle. We'll leave him to it. He's, spr he's sprinting. He's spr sprinting out towards uh, towards extra cover. Um, 36 deliveries left, and 81 runs to win. 106 for three. That's high out towards Rob Jones. Give him the big build-up. <laughs> he takes a catch, Rob Jones, and uh, that's the fourth wicket to fall. 106 for four. Safe pair of hands from Rob Jones. Yet again, um, and the absolutely the apotheosis of cool, isn't he? Really, just <laughs> new sun is rolls it back like a crown green bowler, and then shakes hands with Bahannon. And I really don't know what they were saying to each other, nor do I want to. <laughs> I, 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 think it's a, I think that's a very good plan. To be perfectly honest with you. So 120 for three, and. Um, uh, Matthew Semple, the uh, batter out, the captain of Cumbria. He's a skipper today. It's the first time he's captain Cumbria, and they're, they're likely to lose this match, but I'm sure he'll be mighty proud of how his team have performed with the ball in the field and with the, with the bat to try and get, get these runs. I think it's been a terrific day for these Cumbrian cricketers, and I'm sure it's a, a day that Matthew Semple, young captain, will remember. I think th this is the linkage, and I think this is absolutely important that you have a linkage between club to national county to first class county. And to maintain those links, uh, or the maintenance of those links, is just adorns uh, English cricket because everyone starts at a club. You know, whoever, these, whichever cricketer you name here, they all turned up at 11, 12, 13 at their club, or they were steen at their school and they've developed their cricket from that. Anyway, Luke Wells is bowling. Yeah, started the 18th over, balls to uh, Ben Davison, who's got off the back foot, <coughs> hits it firmly down the ground, but Hannon Fields get through for a single, so 121 for four. And that's why w we should also salute the junior coaches at the club who have the responsibility of encouraging talented young cricketers and bringing on those of perhaps of more moderate ability and making sure they love the game and think well of it in future. Drops short Wells and it's worked to the leg side by Walkden for a single. Yeah, I think, I mean, I look at my own club, but I could look at plenty of others as I travel around and see the amount of work that junior coaches do. And I've talked about, you know, Martin Spate, who works at more of the elite level. Here is Wells bowling and that is played to uh, backward point where Baldston fields um, and no run 65 needed off 4.3 overs 
and now it is getting tricky <laughs> for <laughs> for Cumbria. Bowls again, uh, cuts, but doesn't make contact. The ball collected by Lavelle behind the stumps, and three balls left in this over. And I wonder how many bowlers like Luke Wells, even these chaps come up against. Not many. Anyway, he bowls now, and that is played to mid off, but that fielded, I think, by Keaton Jennings, and that's only a single. And Cumbria need more than singles. But this has still been a great day. Cumbria have not been disgraced in the slightest uh, by that. And it's the end. End of the over. Yeah, 18 Lovely. gone. All oh, right. Okay. We're slightly behind on the stream. I think he said, trying to cover himself um, rather shamelessly. To be perfectly honest with you, um, 64 needed of four overs. Yeah. Okay. And I think we've got. Yeah, Jack Mulling. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Wells bowled four overs, three for 25. We kind of mm. overlooked Wells, didn't we? Actually, to be fair, you didn't. You made the you made the point when we were talking about Morley and the few weeks he could have. It's a it's a it, it, Wells will play a big part with oh, with the ball as well. Absolutely. He, um, it, as I said, it's his height. He doesn't he doesn't get anything like the lateral mu movement that Matt Parkinson gets. But he bowls a little bit of off his, a little bit of leg, leg is, gets a more bounce. Here's Morley to Davison. That's just chipped up into the onside, and Morley will uh, field off his own bowling, and there's, uh, there's one run. Uh, yeah, he's, he's going to play a, a big role. This is the interesting thing about the Royal London Cup. I didn't expect to, to find it as marvellous <laughs> as it was last year, and now I'm just looking forward to it hugely. Morley left arm round the wicket, down the leg side. Umpire Phil Mustard singles a wide. Could have mentioned this before. There's every chance that Phil Mustard, in fact, almost certainly Phil Mustard and Keaton Jennings must have been teammates together. Oh, God, yes. To Durham, yeah. Oh, loads, loads of times. He's walked in with a little step down the pitch and flicked a ball out towards uh, Luke Wells at long on for a single. Oh, and, yeah, and, yeah. and of course, they'd have played an awful lot of cricket with um, the chap who's in charge of Lancashire for the Royal London Cup, Graham Onions. Yeah, of course. So yeah. it all links, it all sort yeah. of links bizarrely together. But um, 26 for four, Morley bowls, and that's eased away through the leg side. Liam Hurt comes up from deep mid-wicket to field. 127 for four. One of the most astonishing things or stats in English cricket is that I think Graham Onions has got nine test caps, given the, given his skill level and the respect he was held. Anyway, Morley's bowling, and that is played out to square leg, in fact, for a single, but by Walkden, and 128 for four. And, and again, Morley being given the... D death overs I think it's fair to say again more responsibility oh and that turned and tr tried to play it off the back foot Davidson but made no con uh, didn't connect taken by Lavelle um, and fifth one ball left in the 19th over Bowled by Morley, it's down the leg side. That's going to be a wide, yet again signalled by Phil Mustard, the second wide um, of the over, but not too damaging, I don't think, to Lancashire's cause. So there's still one ball left in the over, and it's bowled, and Davidson plays it back down the pitch, and it's a 58 needed off three overs and it would I think Scott be a good game to win from here yes that is the uh, match summary 58 off uh, off 18 
some uh, impressive performances on both sides, certainly. Two fifties there in that Lancashire team. I was impressed with Siddle's bowling, absolutely, because I think I'm right in saying that in this corresponding game last year, uh, this turning into turning into the Luke Wells show, I'm not quite sure what's happening here. <laughs> I think Luke Wells whacked him for four sixes in an over. I think he was the slow left armour that was... Um, I mean, mind you, the w the wicket there was fa drier hmm. um, and better for batting. I th think like it should something like 290 or something. Balderson in and bowling a ball full of length, but she's pushed away into the offside, and uh, there's no run. Oops. 129 for four. And George Bolson with bat and with ball. Again, coming up over the next few weeks. Expect to see a lot of him mm -hmm. in uh, a Lancashire shirt. Ball again and just chopped away into the offside. And chopped through for uh, for a quick single. And score ticks along to 130 for four. I think he's got a great future at, at Lancashire, but he was another cricketer that emerged during the Bob Willis Trophy. Um, and then didn't quite get the opportunities last year that perhaps we expected him to. And he'll get more chances in the Royal London. This is work to the leg side. Blatherwick's under pressure after uh, George Bell dug him out to field. He <laughs> picks it up cleanly. But he's another one well regarded yep. at, at Old Trafford, along, along with a number of them, I think. Um, I think Director of Cricket Mark Chilton thinks he's got a talented group of players there and it's very difficult to break in balls and in that's hammered up towards uh, long off for one run jones fields for lancashire 132 for four so you've got two balls left of the 20th over 14 deliveries left 55 is uh, come we need to get but just uh, seeing the game through little flick away off the pads again Blatherwick's up in fact there's three of them chasing after it Bohannon gets there first score moves on to 133 for four so on um, Tuesday we'll be back for the Essex match first game of the Royal London Cup on Tuesday well let's just hope we are <laughs> well, <laughs> I, well I'll definitely be here as indeed yeah. you will <laughs> fired in full by Balderson and well, dug out and there's no run but let's just hope the weather play, but plays ball well yeah mm. I mean uh, on the one hand the weather forecast is grim but on the other hand I always recall that when people say that to me oh you know the way I'm going to say I'm going to said say and they say oh, well the weather forecast is awful and I felt, feel like saying well do you not want me to go or something <laughs> you know shall I just, just not bother <laughs> Oh, it, 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 there's nothing we can do about the weather, and if you're going to moan about the weather in um, English cricket, um, then probably it's not the game for you, mm -hmm. uh, because yes. and when you consider the weather that we've had this uh, summer, it's been absolute. We we've got no room to complain. If we lose a few games, well, that's just um, p nothing. We've still we've still had more days cricket than we would do in an average summer. Yep. Although I'm not sure average summer is, is <laughs> I think the, our definition of an average summer is going to change after sitting on the balcony in 100 degrees of heat at Cheltenham, but never mind. Yeah, Blatherwick back in to bowl his final over of the, uh, of the day. There's more serious concerns relating to climate change than its impact on cricket, for, um, to be perfectly honest with you, but not want to, again, don't want to be gloomy. Um, and uh, what have we got? 11 balls to go. Well, the result of this game has long been decided. And Jack Blatherwick is taking us towards uh, half past six, taking us towards even song. Um. Yep, in a ball into Walkden. Just mm. trying to ramp it, but a play and a miss through to the keeper, no run. Just on Tuesday, if you're watching the live stream or indeed listening to us via the BBC Sport website and app, and you think to yourself, it does look lovely, it's said, but it is. 
and on Tuesday you can if you if you are free and you can make it it is well worth the trip even if the the forecast is accurate and it and it rains a bit on Tuesday there's worse places to be in the rain <laughs> absolutely absolutely uh, you sort of set me up to talk about Sedbury again no, but I, was, I, was, I was trying to move actually I should really wrap up this up shouldn't I it's yeah. blather bl 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 to Walton oh that's a, a, an edge over the keeper and down towards the boundary for four more runs Walton moves up to 30 and the score moves on to 138 for four so yeah 11 o'clock on Tuesday Lancashire Essex first game of the Royal London one day cup is on Tuesday if you can get here um, you will uh, I'm sure you'll be in for a, for a treat if not we'll have coverage on Lex TV and commentary via the BBC Sport website and the app as well so if you can't make it on Tuesday and we do get a game we will um, we'll bring you the, the best possible coverage of the start of the one day cup this year like a ship just falling short of reaching the knockout stage last year Blatherwick in to walk to, again, trying to ramp it but with no contact falling short in a game against Essex yes yeah, but of was. course uh, we, we we won't want to revisit or at least Stephen Croft won't want to revisit no but bit of a brutal final over wasn't it it was thanks to, to Simon Harmer mm. but there you go um, oh yes it, it, I mean Sebra is a terrific place to be even in the rain to be perfectly honest, and it's 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 got it's England's book town, and rightly so. It's Blatherwick to Walkden. Now that's swinging a miss. He's throwing everything at that. It's bounding short and followed Walkden. Did uh, Blatherwick's a no run, so one ball left of the 21st over. 138 for four. And I hope the Essex, uh, if Essex brings supporters and the Essex uh, team and um, support staff appreciate the ground as much as Sussex did, because Sussex really did enjoy their time here. Didn't enjoy the result, but they, they certainly appreciated the setting. Final ball for Blatherwick. He gets bat on ball this time, sent out towards the leg side. Oh, that's a fantastic catch. Liam Hurts with a brilliant piece of work on that mid-wicket boundary. Walked and hitting the ball out to the leg side. He's got loads of ground to make up, Hurt, And he got across the ground in quick time, out towards the, uh, the boundary, in comes the catch, and he keeps himself inside the rope. Excellent fielding by Liam Hurt. That was a terrific catch. Absolutely. Absolutely high quality because he, he was sort of falling. It, the ball was sort of landing behind him. Uh, he was on the uh, as he ran round the the boundary, and he had to judge it. And it's just an example. I mean, very obvious example, I, I suppose. Even ten years ago, you, your would you expect your fast bowlers, most of your fast bowlers, to be able to take those sort of catches? But now they are. They're athletes, um, and there's, you can't carry. The, the the good fast bowling. I mean, I can go mm. back a heck of a distance to, to cricketers that are probably not so relevant now, but we're still superb cricketers of their time. But in no respect were they athletes of some of. In no respect were they athletes mm. of that calibre, um, and <laughs> a bit unlucky, <laughs> to be perfectly honest at a time when you need, you need 49 of 6, which is pushing it a bit. <laughs> and you've got Hurt, Liam Hurt taking catches like that. Yes. But there you go. Well, it will be Hurt to bowl the final over of the match. To Davidson. And that's sent out towards Bell. It'll just bounce in front of uh, George Bell. Yes. The, uh, sure. Get through for one. George Bell thinking, oh, my God, I might have to catch this <laughs> after all he'd said about Jack Blatherwick. <laughs> 139 for five. Yeah. To his relief, it bounced short. Oh, it's the, the, the pr county cricket teams have their own fining system and they, they take no prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> five balls left of the match. Liam Hurt, fresh from a terrific catch. He's in a bowling and Richardson just pushes the ball away, sent back, and Bell with a pick up and throw. 
I think he's gone <laughs> if he hits, but shite the sumps from George Bell. But doesn't hit. 139 for five. It's four balls left. To be sent down by, by Liam Hurt. Richardson on naught. Cumbria. It's all right. 48 away. Obviously, that's not going to happen, but the, they'll be pleased with how their top order got going and would start. Richardson trying to pull it away through the onside. That uh, catches him somewhere. A little uncomfortable. Yes. I think it catches him. In the in box the, uh, is the uh, word there. Well, I, I, last week in the game against Kent, I, I called it the Bahannans. Yes. Ah, it's a good. Yeah, I think, which I thought was kind of apt description. It, it, it's a place that Josh quite likes getting hit. Yes, yes. I think, I think it'll do as a description. I, I don't think you want to tell someone that they're talking a load of Bahannans. <laughs> uh, I think that might be a little bit tricky. But you're absolutely right. It's, uh, it's a good name for it. I've been hitting the Bahannans. <laughs> a little flick off like the hip down to a fine leg for a single. I, li I like it. Well, he, he seems to get 100 every time he's hitting the Bahannans, his Bahannans. I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't see the last two. Um, d no, the last 200, not the last two times he was hitting the box. Uh, but to, just to clarify, but um, in case people thought I was a connoisseur, and there he is, thought he was a connoisseur, thinking, what are they talking about now, <laughs> those two? They never always after me for something. But no, what cracking innings they were, and the yeah. 90 at Southport mm. too. Uh, lovely to see uh, Josh back in form. Two balls left, is hurt. And Davison works it off his pads. And up comes Jack Morley. And they get through for one. So we've got one ball left of this um, um, fixture, this kind of showcase match at Sebber. It's the warm up game before the Royal London One Day Cup competition starts. And this is the final ball of it. We've seen some good performances on both sides. I'm sure Cumbria will be delighted that we've had a game for a start and and some good contributions with the bat and with the ball. Like it should be pretty chuffed with their work, I'm sure. A couple of half centuries in that as well. Last ball of, of the match. And that's flicked away off the pads. And, uh, well, they want to come back for two, but there isn't a second there. And... Uh, that concludes the game, and Cumbria, I think, finishing on 142 for five from their 22 overs. Yeah, 142 for five from their 22 overs, um, with that target to win of 167. So a, a pretty, uh, a pretty emphatic win for Lancashire, but there'll be. I'm sure po positives on, on both sides, Paul. And crucially, we've had a game, and I'm, I'm, I'm certain that Cumbria were, were, desperate, were desperate for that. A Lancashire victory by 44 runs in the end. They were desperate, and the last point I think I would make is that, as far as I could see, absolutely none of the spectators that turned up at, God knows, the gates were open at 10 o'clock, and it was still raining, that none of the spectators who turned up to watch the game left until it was over. And I just think of the, you know, amount of happiness and satisfaction they've taken from that. And the Cumbrian players will have taken a deal of satisfaction from it too. Um, I think the players weren't, I think it's fair to say that Lancashire players weren't 100% confident or sure about playing in those conditions eventually they decided yep we're going to give it a go mm -hmm. as and there are our umpires who uh, took the decision and the thanks go to the players but you just think about the amount of happiness and satisfaction that people have taken from today's cricket myself included so great thank you thanks paul we've had a, a little message from peter who says what a treat to hear paul edwards on comms excellent thank you peter and thank you, Paul, for joining me in this uh, second uh, half of the match. And to George Bell who, for agreeing to be mic'd up. And Luke, our Lancashire fan, who um, was uh, was joining us as well. So there's our match summary. A victory by like for Lancashire by 44 runs. Couple of half centuries there. Bohannon and Lamb. Uh, Bohannon on 51 and Lamb on, on making 50. A couple of wickets. What, two for Siddell, two for Walkden. 
Uh, Cumbria with JJ Fielding, perhaps the real star of the show with the bat. 42 he made, but very noticeable contributions for Walkden and for Waterston as well. And three wickets for Luke Wells, three for 25. So Lancashire winning by 44 runs. And uh, that uh, concludes our coverage from Sepa School. We're delighted to have brought you some action. It didn't look likely in truth at one stage, but we've managed to get you, uh, get you a game and bring you uh, 44 overs of live cricket here on Lanx TV and the BBC Sport website and the app as well. We will do it again for you on uh, Tuesday. Uh, let's hope the forecast is incorrect and we have, uh, we have a change to the, the predictions of the weather. But regardless of rain or not, we'll be here if you can't make it for coverage of the opening match of the Royal London One Day Cup live from the beautiful Sebbert School. But from Scott and from Paul and from George on the mic and from Luke as well and all the team, Working behind the scenes, we'll catch you again on Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.